Sorry for the panting. There's a pretty girl in the room. It is really hot here in Moncton today. So the dogs are not doing well. It's hot in the basement too. Do 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 I saw the Mario movie again today. That's available to, to get. I don't know how long that's been available to get, but I, I got it for the kids. They watched it again. It still sucks. Again? Yeah, it was on in the, the room upstairs. They watched it again. It was Kate's first time seeing it. She liked it quite a bit. She watched the whole thing. I'm surprised. She's only four, so sitting through a movie is uh, pretty rare for her. She didn't sit through Frozen, but she sat through that, so she has a really bad taste. In her defense, when she tried to sit through Frozen, she was only three. So, you know, maybe a lot of development happened in that time. Would you like to build a snowman? Joe, are you excited for Baldur's Gate 3 at all? No, and I wish everyone would stop asking. Every day, multiple times a stream. Hey Joe, gonna play Baldur's Gate 3? Hey Joe, I'm not sure if you're even informed, but this is Baldur's Gate 3 coming out. Yes. But bear sex, that's a negative to me. I'm not into that. Why is everyone memeing about this? Talk about Yakuza instead? Maybe we should. What do you call a bunch of, of Yakuza in a spa? <laughs> a Yakuza! <laughs> People in chat said it. They knew it was coming. <laughs> hey, Yoshi. Hey, Joe. Are you a hair oils or hair care casual kind of guy? Hair care casual. I don't. I don't put anything in my hair. Should I start? Really, really tempted to just shave the whole thing off, to be honest. What hair? I still have hair. I'm not bald. I'm getting close to, to, to needing it, maybe. I'm not sure. She put a comb in your hair, at least. Um, when I had long hair, I would brush it, yeah. Uh, I put a, I would use a bamboo comb. Um, it's upstairs in, in, the, in the bathroom cabinet, like the mirror cabinet. Um, but now that I have short hair, I don't have to do that. I have a joke set up for you. If you if a ghost pissed in the stream, what would you call that? Unexpected because that's not a sink. What do you mean if the ghost pissed in the stream? What, 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 what would it be? What would it be? What cheese is your banking? Uh, I don't know. Damn fucked up my own joke setup. Okay, equals cack. I don't. I'm not sure if I get it. Uh, I don't know what, what cheese is my banking. I don't have my save file down here. I, I've done quite a lot of resets now. Like, I'm, I must be close to 100 resets. So whatever that is. Shaving armpits, yes or no? I do not shave my armpits, no. Joe, do you take cold showers? I take lukewarm showers. I don't like cold showers. Although I used to take cold showers... So I can, I can stand it, but I don't like it. I don't like hot showers. I like somewhat warm showers. Cold showers are based? Based on what? Yeah, they're pretty based. I would agree that they're pretty based. Cold showers are nice on hot day. Are they though? Because you go in and that makes the water even colder. Do you drink warm water? I do not drink warm water. No, I drink cold water. The colder, the better. I like, I like all of my drinks either like as cold as possible or like hot if it's like tea or coffee. If it's not meant to be a hot drink, then it needs to. Oh shit, that's an important DM. All right, one second.
Uh, all right, that's gonna have to wait. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry, Harry. All right. Uh, how's the Vol Vital thread going? That that is that is too long for me to reply to right now. Jerry forgot the stream announcement. Yeah, I, that's why I went on Jads. That's what it was for. Joe playing another weave game. Ghost Trick is kind of a weave game, yeah. Uh, all right, how, how do I follow up Trick or Treat? Please show feet. There's no beating that. Dog breathing, yeah, it's really hot here today, so they're, uh, they're that, that's how dogs regulate their, their temperature. Dogs can't sweat, so they have to pant to regulate their temperature, sorry. So we just all have to, to deal with it. Let's just put Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick 3. There you go. Ghost Trick 3. Oh, Ghost Hat Trick! Because it's 3. Ghost Hat Trick. There you go. We got there. We got there. Alright. That should have been the uh, the title for today. Xenoblade 3. Ghost Trick 3. Should we play Xenoblade, Xenoblade 3? You know you want to click on the video, Joe. What video? What's this? Oh, it's loud. Mozzarella often comes to saltwater too. Not the mozzarella we get. The mozzarella we get comes. <laughs> Show it. it's in it's in evolve idle den. You're gonna have to join the thread. Maybe someone will post in Dragon's Den so you don't have to. You guys don't know the com twenty seventy seven meme. Only only the best com based memes here. Hey Yoshi. Do 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 do. All right, let it let us get started. Let us get started. Uh, how do we do that? Um, all right, so we we turn that off. Oh, I don't have Steam open. God damn it! Why do I have Steam closed? Okay, why why are you just in my face, dog? Why I gave you water. I gave you water. The water has been given. Naraka Blade Point, free to play. Oh, that's probably bad then. Alright, uh Ghost Trick, there we go. Phantom Detective. Why is the D in Detective Red? Shower temp. Absolutely freezing. Who is having absolutely freezing showers? Just goes to show you, no matter what the option is, someone will pick it. My flesh should melt off. A bit warmer. In the middle, a bit colder. Oh, wow, it's loud. So is it true that the mozzarella we get comes in a in a in a in a plastic bag? Still haven't finished the sentence enough to get it not loot anymore. Like in it's it's wrapped and you have to like unwrap the plastic in order to like and it's a, it's like a rectangular block and you you uh you cut it, right? Is that fake mozzarella? 
Like mozzarella is used like is that or is that pizza mozzarella? Pizza mozzarella, like I, I'm sure that's not like in salty and fucking brine. I didn't think so. Is it low moisture? There's no moisture in it, no. Now vacuum pack mozzarella is the same. Okay, then what why are people like fucking mozzarella shaming me then? Rella, Rella, Rella. By Rihanna, mozzarella, it's a great Rihanna song. You can eat some of my mozzarella. You can eat some of my mozzarella. Ella, Ella. Mozzarella gatekeeping. I know, right? It's a JoJo reference. It is. It isn't. It isn't. I don't even know what you're talking about. Are you talking about cheese? Or are you talking about Umbrella by Rihanna? The Rella Rella thing? I'm pretty sure um Umbrella by Rihanna predates JoJo. So when people are seeing Rihanna, it's not the JoJo reference. Google Rella Rella right now. Then I'm gonna get spoilers for JoJo, and I don't want to be spoiled. JoJo JoJo predates you. Magical journey of JoJo. Nope, 1987, get fucked. Nope. I'm 1985. I predate JoJo. Why is there a dog on the cover of this comic? But you were a toddler. Yeah, and, the, and this sucked. So, and, argument, point. Love Iggy, Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop, also a JoJo reference. The dog, it's, it looks like it's a Dalmatian. Dalmatians are overrated. Dalmatians are the most overrated dog. All right, we continuing. Iggy is actually named after Iggy Pop. I've I've seen Iggy Pop live. Um, I don't know why Iggy Pop was opening for Green Day, but I was there to see Green Day, and I and Iggy Pop opened for Green Day. I I did not know who Iggy Pop was. Apparently, most people in the audience did not know who Iggy Pop was either. <laughs> This is even back then he was like this this ancient like dried out raisin of a man that was like just permanently topless it, it, it looked like you took the lead singer of uh, red hot chili peppers and put him in, in in the time machine to age him up by 20 years and he and he, he's out there just singing a song that I didn't know and no one else really knew it knew it either and like he was he was dancing and and the only people in the crowd that were into it and dancing were two of the oldest people there they must have they must have just come just for Iggy pop and then they left when Green Day came out. I remember being like, who the hell is this guy? I don't remember any of the songs, Chowder Man. Maybe Iggy Pop's good by the way, maybe I would like Iggy Pop now. I haven't I haven't heard an Iggy Pop song, so you know, more fool me. Do 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 So you were another two? No, back I was I was a teenager back then. I'm that old. This story is 20 years old. Like, literally, tw actually, it's more than 20 years old. Do, 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 do. I think Red Hot Chili Peppers are also very overrated. Joe, what's your favorite song? Um, depend depends on what, what company I'm in. 
if I'm in normie company and I just want to have like a good song that we can be like, yeah, that's a good song. Everyone knows what it is. I'll probably say Booking Me in Rhapsody by Queen. I really, I do really genuinely like that song a lot, but that's probably like, like my, my, my normie kind of like, uh, answer. So we can all just say, hey, we all know that song. Now that's overrated, is it? Do you listen to progressive rock? I do, I do, yeah, I do listen to progressive rock. Well, lately I don't listen to much music at all, but when I do, uh, it's either K-pop or progressive rock, yeah. Do, 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 do. My favorite song of the moment is is not yet reprised by The Amazing Devil, because that's my favorite band at the moment. Uh, before that, it was... I, I, I hate to say this about myself, because I know the reputation this band's fans have, but I'm a big fan of Tool. Um, a lot of you just said, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I really like Lateralis by Tool. Um, that's probably my favorite Tool song overall, probably Lateralis. I really, that's my favorite album by them too. Uh, I really like 21 Pilots before they got cool and popular. Holding On To You by 21 Pilots is a really good song. I love singing along to that song. Uh, trying to think what else I like. Really like Porcupine Tree. Favorite song by Porcupine Tree is Arriving Somewhere But Not Here. I love that song. You of all the people listen to K-pop? I don't actually, I just want it to be funny. I only, I know like maybe like two K-pop songs. If there's progressive rock, that means there's conservative rock. Yeah, oh yeah, that's the Beatles, yep. Yeah. I feel like you listen to Imagine Dragons. I fucking hate you. Can you permanently ban this shadow for 10 minutes, please? My my younger son likes Imagine Dragons, but the, uh, actually, you know what? Maybe he doesn't anymore. I really like Florence and the Machine. Um, I also like Banks. Lily, Lily really likes uh, Florence and the Machine and Banks, and I got into them too. And I really, I really, really like those those two singers. Uh, Florence and the Machine blows Banks out of the water. Sorry, like Banks has some really good songs, but um, I really like Florence and the Machine. Florence and the Machine is probably one of my favorite bands as well. Never forget how Imagine Dragons got the big break with what with, with Radioactive. I I think some Imagine Dragons songs are okay. I think they get a little bit too much hate, but like. They're pretty basic. Popular songs that you hate. Um, I'm kind of a music slut, so I can't really tell you anything that I hate. Uh, I also don't really listen to that much popular music because I don't have, I don't like listen to a radio a lot. Um, I really like Lady Gaga. I really like Taylor Swift. Like I, I like pop songs as well. Favorite songs by Florence and Banks. Uh, Banks's best song is probably. Probably Brain. Um, and this is what it feels like is pretty good too. Uh, Gemini Feed is pretty good. There's another one I really like. Uh, Til Till Now is like a, is, is a big tease. It, it feels like it's gonna be a much longer song, but it's really epic, but it's, it's pretty short. Uh, Florence's best song is Witch Witch. So like like witch and then like, like the kind of like, you know, woman wearing the black hat witch. You know, Witch Witch, that's her best song, which is weird because it's just a demo that they included on one of her albums. Uh, first album is probably my favorite of hers, but later albums are pretty good too. Uh, the song Mermaid she just released, that's her, her newest song, is really good. I'm a, I'm really, I'm a big fan of Florence. Uh, Choreomania is a great song too. Put on, uh, put on headphones when you listen to Choreomania and it's just like, holy shit, Choreomania is a great song. Damn, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, it's, it's just a demo. Apparently there's a much better version that she's teased in interviews and we don't get to hear that one. It's, uh, it's a bit sad. Fan of any particular game soundtracks or movies? I don't think I've ever listened to a movie soundtrack. Um, I like game soundtracks a lot. Uh, Fury, um, the Final Fantasy games that I played when I was a kid. Chrono Trigger remixes mostly though. Um, Undertale soundtrack is a banger. Lately we've been listening a lot to It's Pizza Time from Pizza Tower because the, the boys love it. Fury soundtrack slaps, it really does, yeah. Anyway, let's, we could just sit and talk forever. We should actually play the game, because um, at this rate, we're not going to get it done this week, even if we stream tomorrow. 
who did I say thank you to yesterday at the end of stream? Was it Chaotic Despair? It looks like it might have been. Uh, just in case though, thank you Chaotic Despair. Thank you 33 Shay. That sounds like I, I, I remember saying that name. Uh, thank you to Maxi Maui Z. Maui Hopefully for the new sub when the stream is down. Thank you to Holy Rory. Holy Rory reporting for duty. Thank you for watching your new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, David Diaz, for the resub. Thank you also to Unsighted33, Glow Buzz, Ben Template, The Dread Carpet. Ooh, like an evil magic carpet. Uh, Deonce. Diancy, one of those for the resub. Arbitrary Dummy. Thank you for the resub. Thank you to, also to Kier Mall. King33411, are you a Gravity Rush 2 fan? And Julia Whites, hopefully I'm saying that right, for the resubs. Thank you very much. The Homestuck OST bangs. It also has some songs with Toby Fox like Megalovania. How can o o Homestuck have, have an OST? It's it's a comic. By the way, I thought about it. Applause. Uh, shh. Sh Shiza and Bloody Mary are my top three Lady Gaga songs. Really? Okay, so I, I hadn't heard um, Bloody Mary and Shiza until you recommended the Manu. Uh, and I listened to them, and I like them, but um, like they're not in my top three at all. I'm surprised. Applause is really good. Bad Romance is clearly number one for me. I really. How do, how do you feel about Teeth? Teeth is really good. Teeth is good. Monster is good. I feel like Poker Face is, is a touch overrated. I do like it, but like, eh. D4 stream plan at some point, um, or not enough draw last last stream. Uh, I don't know. After Deadly Premonition, I'm not sure if we should play D4. Teeth slaps, and yeah, I agree. Poker face feels overrated. Yeah, it's, I still like it, but it's a little overrated. Yeah, teeth is really really good. I like Born This Way because it's a JoJo reference. Born This Way. Oh no 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 shit! Born This Way is really good too. Okay, I don't know what- I can hit up, can't I? Detective Jowd's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lin about it? I just don't know. I'm shocked that you didn't hear Shiza before I mentioned it. Wild. I really hadn't. It's good though. This time, Lin isn't dead, but the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Did you like the Apple 4 that you played? I missed that stream. Um, it was okay. I'm interested to play some more, but I don't know if we're going to stream it. We probably will, but I don't know how much. Shit, did we just miss a whole speech bubble? I didn't know those went away. Oh, damn. Can we reload it? Was that important? Now I get to read this one. I'm really to Lady Gaga, but I recommend you listen to al the album Discipline by King Crimson whenever you have time. Discipline by King Crimson. Okay. Now that my assignment to stop the execution had ended in such an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Linda at the Justice Minister's office. Worth reloading. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay, and now we're going to do the, uh, the thought bubble. Hey Joe, just got done watching a compilation of your of your EA, 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 EA Jedi streams. Calling it the EA Jedi is interesting. Uh, please don't break this game. I don't think I could break this game. I'm glad Lin isn't dead, but what in the world is she doing? Then again, do I really want to know? Um, without saying spoilers, I think that the way that we broke that game and there was a big character reveal, and then there was a an even bigger character like trait revealed about that character out of nowhere because we skipped when it should have happened is one of my maybe even my favorite um stream moment ever <laughs> it's not my favorite clip my favorite clip is is probably the uh <laughs> the ship but that that could not have been more perfect how it was how it was revealed there it's just like wait whoa, whoa what <laughs> anyway uh let's go to uh the the, the phone no, we're not going to the phone. We're going here. All right, so 
Oh, someone's deed under the table. Under the table. Any chance of streaming Fear and Hunger someday? Am I allowed to? Isn't there a lot of uh, questionable content in that one? Eek. What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but if I'm allowed to, maybe. But I hear there's um, there's stuff in there. Well, and how did it go? Was Detective Jout still alive? He'd already been executed. How is the sound, by the way? We good? There's a mod that censors all the bad things. Do I trust a mod? Is it a rogue mod? Do I trust a mod to not get me banned? Hmm. Both are TOS compliant. Are they really? Okay. He'd already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but you did? Oh, I'm so glad. Wait a minute. Did you say but? A big streamer played the second one yesterday. Yeah, but a big streamer like once just like watch straight up like like Pokemon and shit and like and just did whatever they wanted. So like in some of them get get repercussions and other ones don't. So like I don't know. I'm not that big enough a streamer, I don't think. Wait a minute. Did you say but? I told Lynn about about my adventure at the prison. About that other murder though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Jowd. I can't believe it. Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that wherever I go, somebody is always dead. Either you or someone else. Sorry about that. She's the killer. So who is that lying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed him, did you? That's just, that's the justice minister. The man who signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. I killed him. He was already dead when I got here. Oh, convenient. Shouldn't you have called for help in that case? Hmm, I guess so. But I'm wanted, remember, for murder. I was hoping we could save him, save him without me getting caught. We, oui, eh? Oh boy. Hmm. Like, why did she shoot, like, nothing before shooting us in that scene? It's like, did she miss? Was she being... It seems like there's, like, uh, a couple of instances now of people being, doing something weird and out of character. Was she being forced to do it? And that was her trying to, like, to resist? I feel like I don't have enough information yet to, to get the mystery. Hey, can you hear me? I love though, I love though, and this this is the difference between what I think is good writing and what I think is bad writing. And it pisses me off when people don't appreciate good writing accidentally by not caring when bad writing does this. The fact that the body landed in that chair and I didn't notice, and then it calls attention to it. Cause I, cause if, if I had um, noticed it, I would have said something like, "What? That, that body shouldn't be there, that breaks the rules. And it's good writing and it's like they're addressing it and that's part of the mystery and part of what happened. In bad writing, it would have been like, oh, who cares, Joe, it's just a story, just, just, just accept it. I'm Kermit the Frog, apparently, who's angry and also just woke up from a nap. But, but, but yeah, like I... I appreciate that, like I hate... I hate when people just dismiss that shit. It's like, well, if I'm engaged and I'm paying attention and I notice a discrepancy and then the game, then, then the story addresses it and it's like, actually, it's not a discrepancy. It's actually important that I'm like, oh shit, that's usually when I'm impressed the most when we play games on stream or uh, with stories on stream. <sighs> he's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Could you rescue him now while he's still unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it'll be faster to see for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go then to four minutes before his death. <laughs> Mister's office, 11.31 p.m. All right, this is probably gonna play on its own, right? And we're gonna see the death. Emma. Oh, excuse me. What if he just died of a heart attack? What would we do? What? All right. I'll do as you say. This is terrible.
Why doesn't she answer? Gua! Gua! Oh shit! Really? Me me medicine. Oh, okay, not really. He he has a condition. He's medicine. Okay. Water. Special heart attack medicine. That exists, isn't it? Isn't there a condition called uh uh I mean it's called something else now. It's called it's called angina, and you have to have like medicine around your house if you have it. Or is it is this something else I'm thinking of? Uh such a foolish man. Or is that just pain? Oh, you woke up. He's a he's a contradiction. Angina. Yeah, I know what it sounds like, but yeah, that's 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 the name I was told. Um, I think someone in my family had that when I was when I was a kid. Contradiction. The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. Good bit stream. What's the bit? The world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like you could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish, foolish man. Foolish man. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's uh, a more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That the foolish and pathetic man is him. Whoa. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? He can see your thoughts, by the way. You're a ghost. Just call me a seeker of truth. Sidestep that one, didn't he? Thank you, Zorgrox, for the bits. Thank you, Zero Vault, for the bits. And thank you, uh, Vain Hair, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Vain Air. That's gotta be it. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so what are we doing? No need to think to, so, to worry about this one. All I have to do is get him his medicine to him. Pretty simple. But there's one thing that concerns me. What was the telephone call the Justice Minister got all about? Uh, it was right after that that his health took an instant downturn. Tisk, I've never seen a, such a foolish, a foolish, pathetic, and strange man. Uh, I think you better stop there. Okay, so, the, ooh, ooh, okay, so, oh. Okay, so we can get to the phone. Emma. Trick me through the phone. Oh, <gasps> forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Who is this? Em Emily? Emily's tutor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? No. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My daughter, is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. Papa, help! She's a candle? I'm gonna be killed! I, this is sus. What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. Ah, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. I would have done it anyway. La Mayo! Yes, yes, of course. They... <laughs> they sh they should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember that. Uh, and of course, it goes without saying, we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? But I am the police. You just told me. Shit. Exactly. All you have to do is your job. All right, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Do you judge voice, Joe? Go there, stay here. Let's go there and see. Let's go there. Let's uh, rule this out. Trace complete.
Apparently the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea word of tonight's deal had leaked. Papa, help! Oh, she's not a candle! She's in that box! I hate you, Mama. Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that the Justice Minister could hear her voice. But what's taking the good soul on to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. Who are you talking to, bud? Oh. Can you move, please? Can you move, please? Uh-oh. This woman doesn't show any signs of moving from that spot, and I can't use the telephone line either. Hmm, looks like I fell into a trap. What do you mean? All women are like traps. Some are sweet traps, others are bitter. Don't you understand that? Okay, anyway, I think I'd better rethink things here. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? Who? I, I knew that you were going to die in the junk garden, become a ghost, and then you were going to solve a couple of mysteries and bring some people back from the dead and then go through the prison and go and escape somebody and then get caught afterwards and then jump through the phone line where you would be here. And I knew that the minister was going to have our attack and then you would come here and you'd run his death and then you would listen to this phone call. And as you listen to the phone call, you have a choice to jump in here. And I knew that you would do it. And I knew that I would like, oh, like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm just going to rewind. Lamayo got him. Like, you know what? I'm staying. I'm staying. Screw it. No, no, I'm staying. I'm staying. I don't think that's what you meant. A, tra a, tra a trap requires intent or it's not a trap, it's just an accident. Okay, it's not happening. Time's up. A mysterious kidnapping, eh? I'd like to find out more about it. But right now, I have another problem to solve first. Because as little trouble for others as possible, now that's a rule to live by. Never mind that, I'll just start over. Guess I better rewind the clock. Alright. Can't you be trapped by a cave-in? That's, that's a, a different usage of the word, is it not? sneeze hi Joe sorry for yelling at you to, uh, for starting a stream my internet is back and now I am a changed person all right that's good welcome welcome back welcome back but chatter how were you on Jed's plot hole phone data you could use that to watch the stream Most expensive stream ever. A kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what the word means, but it's apparently the... the, the oh, that's such a weird plot point. The cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. Wait. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. A foolishly, foolishly... Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. I better do something about that medicine. Okay, there's no there's no way it's 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 something as simple as just give him the medicine, right? Like let's see. So this medicine stops the minister's attacks, eh? If I could, I'd spill them onto his desk right now, but unfortunately I can't even open the cap. What a shabby excuse for him. What is this guy's problem, huh? He wears his important looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. But what does he have inside? Nothing. A miserable, shabby excuse for a man. A miserable pile of secrets! I think you'd already said quite enough. To call my wife. I have to see if it's true. Maybe they called the wrong person. Okay. This minister doesn't accept the truth easily. It's not true! He's morally bankrupt! Okay, now you're taking it too far. His wife won't answer for some reason. Hmm, a wife who doesn't answer her phone. I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't that man understand that? Now I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. 
Okay, so what do I do? Do I use do I use the, the water? If only he could at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks this pitcher to the floor at the end of his four minutes. Such a stupid man. Huh? Once water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well. No, it's it's a pitcher. Why do people still uh, spill water pitchers? I don't know, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. This is a weird bit. Let's flap and cool him down. There you go. Mine isn't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Excuse me. I'm so tired this week. I'm so sorry. I got all my exercise done today, too. Uh oh, here it comes. His worry and anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man, huh? If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? But there wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up now. My medicine. I, I don't. I don't know what to do. All right. Well, this is all I have. I'm just gonna flap. Was it? There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. And then he dies anyway. He's still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay. He's literally me. At least now I bought some time to get his medicine to him. Uh-oh. I've never seen anybody drink water the way this man just did. The water pitcher is completely empty. He's an empty vessel of a man. Scalamu, Scalamu, an empty withered man. Where is his oasis? Anyway, here's a, this guy is a, is really starting to get on my nerves. Yeah, mine too, actually. Let's just wave the flag some more. It worked before. Okay, do I use the phone? Stately, but it's filled with nothing but useless trash. When in the past, I could only use the line between the phone is being used to make. Sorry, the line when the phone is being used to make a call. I guess I better find another path. Okay, I thought I could maybe I could use I could move the receiver. The minister's fate has changed, but the situation still seems to be the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Maybe I should start from the beginning. Oh, wait, what? I don't. What was that? Oh, God damn it. Okay. All right. Okay. Go <sighs> For fuck's sake, game.
How do I, how do I, can I make it run faster? Oh wait, did we, did we clear the jumping poltergeist challenge? Unlock the song, jumping poltergeist. All right, that's it, right? We got it. Spin harder. He's saying he's some water. All right, spin harder. He's still breathing apparently, but he looks okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Not this time. Not today. Not today. Okay, time for the next step. Now about this medicine bottle. Drop the sword to open it. If the minister is going to make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I'll just have to use my head instead. Alright, so what do we have to work with over here? We have... Uh, arm. Sword. Curtain. I'm guessing we have to, to, to move it over there. Yeah, okay, there we go. So another arm, another sword. Raise the arm to go up. All right, and then we can go up here. All right, turn the globe. Undo. Undo. Okay, so that's gonna fall and hit the bottle over there. Why, why would, do I have to open it first? One second, Jet. All right, I'm back. This is basically Undo Chan's game. It is, yeah, we actually are the Undo Chan ghost, aren't we? All right, so hanging basket rock turn. What happens if I turn it? Uh huh. Okay, if if we if we pull that, it's not gonna reach. So what do we do? Do we? What, what does the sword swing do? What? This thing is pretty heavy. It's got a good swing to it. It's sharp enough to cut the medicine bottle in two, though. But it's, and it's not long enough, is it? Such a reckless man, huh? Only cowards like to keep weapons turned around. It's a dangerous thing to have around. In any case, I bet I could use a sword somehow. All right, my, my thought right now is that I, I rock this out. All right, now it's, now it's dropped. All right, oh, that's not what I thought was gonna happen at all. Okay, that was really loud. The iron is a lot heavier than it looks. It's made of some pretty thick iron. I wouldn't want to drop that on my foot, but I don't have feet, so I guess I don't have to worry. All right, so that, that did not do what I thought I was going to do. All right, so I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm going here. God damn it. All right, so then we go here. And then we go up. All right, what, what do I want the globe to do? Turn. Didn't do what I thought I was gonna do either. Hmm, that looks really good. If only the medicine bottle was under that swing, I bet it would go flying. But to the wrong side of the room. I guess I'm starting to uh, form a plan here.
pretty late for the frame of its size, so sure are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen man. Fallen man, he deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about fallen man, but uh, talk about him. you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is what order the objects are dropped in. Yeah, okay, so I can, I can drop the the green thing onto the sword which i'm guessing is going to make it so then i can i can swing it this way does it does, does it swing the other way no it doesn't oh okay well that's me fresh out of ideas then maybe maybe if the if the apple is on it it swings the other way what if what if it's up does that change the direction of the swing no okay Uh, yeah, this giant apple here. It's a huge, huge apple. What if I rock it again? Nope. I don't want to rock. Okay, so what, what? What? Hold on. What if I do this again? Okay, that does nothing. All right. So clearly we messed it up. Clearly. All right. Do I want to get? The, do I want to knock the medicine bottle over there again, or do I want to? Do I want to knock the the vase over it? What do I, What do I want to do? I can't have this be on here at the same time that the, the vase gets knocked down. Oh, that moves the other way too. If this fell, if we did that side first, and then this, this, um, uh, like decline was reversed if the decline has its reverse and then this knocked the vase down onto here would it slide down enough with enough momentum to go over to the medicine ball like i don't think so but maybe this game has been kind of weird with how it works for this stuff um i just don't see what else i could possibly do other than that If I get if I get the the green thing on the sword, then I will I will hit the medicine uh, jar over there, but it won't it won't be open. Is that all I have to do? Am I just like overthinking this? I don't I don't think so. Would the globe fall down on it afterwards? I need more information. What would happen? Okay, either. Let's either way. Let's uh, let's uh, go back. Real. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. Let's let's get information. Let's get information. Here's what we're gonna do. We're we're gonna we're gonna get the the green thing onto the sword and see what it does. This is not gonna work, but I wanna know. Alright, so we hit it. Hmm, that was so close. The swing just just a little more reach to it. I think I'd better look for something else instead. Okay, so that that did not work. All right, so let's go up here and we're going to unfasten this. Okay, do we want to, I think we want to spin it first. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's the other way. It spins the other way, god fuck. Okay. It goes where it's not open. Okay, so I think we want to 
not put that one down first. I think we want to go over to the right. Well, hold on. First of all, I think we want to unhook the thing. And then we, need, we want to go over here and we want to... Knock the vase down, then knock that down. Or at the very least, let's see what happens. Alright, we turn. Alright, then we do this. Oh, it doesn't land! Oh! I thought it was going to land where the other... Okay, this urn is pretty light. Once an urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. Ah, oh, different urn! I guess I, I'd better uh, think carefully about what I want to drop and when. Oh, okay. We, we have no more information. Well, this isn't going to work. I don't think we can interact with the globe again. Oh, we can! Oh, man. What does that do? Roll. Okay, is that going to roll onto the sword? Or is it going to roll onto the... Um, can we turn it again? Okay, if it rolls onto there right now, it's gonna go. It's gonna go down. Is it going to make it move? It's gonna roll that way, I think. Do we want to put that on it first to weigh it down so it rolls down? Yeah, we do. Now we want to go. Oh no! Oh fuck, I thought like earlier with the um, with the big rolling ball, I thought it would just roll past it. Selective fucking 2D, 3D bullshit. <sighs> okay, what are you supposed to do then? Preemptively drop the thing? Maybe it's just, maybe it's not even heavy enough to, to um, mess up the seesaw. Maybe, maybe it'll just fall. Jo Why am I being Joed? Okay, I guess we I guess we go and see what happens if we just um put the the um fall let the globe fall on the uh on the thing that we made. If we preemptively drop this phase, that's going to make it so it's just flat. So the globe probably won't fall over. I'm guessing we have to make it so the sword hits the globe into the into the pills maybe but do we want to put maybe you have to put the the green thing on the sword at the same time maybe you don't maybe you don't you don't make this phase drop maybe you don't need to do that i just i don't see how dropping this is going to make any difference so let's go over and see what happens if we drop the globe on on an unsupported uh um um what should we call it the decline the ramp the seesaw thing 
we turn it. And then we... Yeah, we definitely want to do this first, right? We definitely want to do this first. All right, there we go. And then we're going to roll. It's probably going to bounce us to the right. Okay, I don't know what to... Oh, we just... Okay, then we just make it shoot over. Okay, easy. Wait, how is that going to work then? Is the sword long enough to to hit the... Oh, it probably is actually. Okay. Huh. Is it going to be enough to make it get over the seas? I guess it has to be. There's nothing else to do. Where's it going to go? Oh. Okay. But it's not open. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't jump, I didn't. My medicine. Ugh. Took too much. There, the minister finally took his medicine. I think maybe he even took too much medicine. Such a greedy man. Huh? Still dies. He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? I'm gonna sneeze. Aw, oh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? <laughs> Fate averted. That was pretty good. Phew, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. And so, the Justice Minister is now back to life, uh, but the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. Apparently, our lady detective in, is the present cause of those furrows. Look, detective, he was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence. All they had was his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back. I told you, I don't want anybody coming near me. I'm not wearing any underwear. Or pants, sorry, I meant to say pants, not underwear, shit. Now it's worse. M Mr. Minister, uh, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But, but, when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out tonight. No. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. <laughs> Sissel, there you are. It sounds like the Minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. The Minister has to have has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. Oh, we can just talk now, even though I'm not in her head? That's... Is that new, or is it just convenience? A good reason? I told Lynn what I had learned about the kidnapping. Maybe we're just in proximity now, so it's fine. Kidnapping? Kidnapping? They kidnapped the Justice Minister's daughter. Apparently. Oh my goodness.
but still. There's still no reason to hurry forward oh, with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister then? I will! Poor man, I hate to, to do that to him. Oh, by the way. Do you think you could carry me? Oh, right, sure. Not very handy, is it? Having no legs? Don't have any legs, Morty! Dark Souls? Oh no, he's gonna think we're attacking. Uh-oh. This sword and globe combo is heavy. And I'm in here too, don't forget. Mom's spaghetti? I guess that means a single soul is heavier than the whole world. Maybe I'll use this thing to persuade the minister to change his mind. Good luck with that. Carrying the weight of the world. What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this? Er, hehe, <laughs> pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question, were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing. Wait, shouldn't he remember? He was unconscious for it. I don't know the rules of this. He was unconscious for it. So who were we talking to when we are in there then? And that didn't happen with Lin the first time. That was kind of weird. As ghosts, right? You're talking about me? Oh, here we go. No, there's no such thing. g g, -g, -g ghost this is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Prove prove it's not a ghost. Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me. Humph. So now I'm a dream, eh? Mr. Minister. I think the man unconscious before dying. He just died of a heart attack. Yeah, sorry. That's, I meant that too. I meant like his 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 ghost consciousness. Whatever whatever's left that we speak to sometimes when we, when we enter a body. Um, was unconscious this time. Do, 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 do. Nice fusion weapon. <laughs> oh man, that goes to show you just how much I don't think of Tears of the Kingdom, because it didn't even occur to me. We know, we know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Your medicine, medicine. Gah! Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Emily. But what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? I I'm sorry. Didn't didn't uh, uh, Cabanera uh, arrest him? Does, do we not know that in this timeline? Does he not know that? Are we just not telling him that? Maybe one, did, maybe, it, maybe it covered that, I'm sorry. Come on, Lin, if you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping in the only way I know how. My ghost tricks! Alright, let's tell her we're leaving. Don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean, the demand is to carry out an execution that was already set to be carried out. It's just like the minister said, there's no need for such a kidnapping. Hmm, you might be right. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no, there's no such thing. No such thing. I'm a realist. I'll never believe in them. Not in the existence of ghosts. Not in this escape from prison. And not in this kidnapping. Hmm, this realist is running away from several very real facts. That's true. At high speed, too. Anyway, let me try and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Oh, that's right, you have their telephone number. I do! In my in my ghost trick phone book. I think I'll go see what these kidnappers look like. Oh, I already know. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What, what, what? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't uh, bother me when I'm awake. 
Man, I could have called it a realist instead of realist. God damn it, missed opportunity. Oh, I'm not a dream? Looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right. Stubborn Justice Minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. Whoops. Alright, what does Lamp think of all this? Greetings, Eli. What's the matter, Ray? Taking a break? Ray's deed. Haha, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I'm apparently starting to lose my strength. What, what? Let me ask you one favor first, if you don't mind. There's a small creature who needs your powers. Ah, uh, you're talking about the little lady, aren't you? She holds a clue to, to that which you seek. I encourage you to lend her your strength. How'd you know all this? You'll find out soon enough. I know you can do it. Hurry along now, there's no time to waste. Okay, I'm going. All right, this is to it's, to it's totally us. This is totally us. This, this, this game's gonna get nuts by the end. They're gonna put a parrot on the stand. Why don't we have a what what emote? We used to, and people didn't use it. I really should pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. After all, if we want the justice minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble, so I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. And that's the end of my story. Chapter 11. How many chapters are there? 11? The Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the, the death row prisoner Jowd to be carried out tonight. Confront Jowd. Lin says the execution is, is a mistake, and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. What took you so long? Your instinct was right, Beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to, to, sh to shake them. And now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Well, that's where we are. Okay, is like the kidnapped girl in the case? Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, Beauty. That's okay. That's what I love about you. Do, 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 do. This room looks familiar. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes, always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? There, see that beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. All right, little lady, let me open that trunk for you. All right, it's not the little girl, right? It can't be. Is it the cat? Where are we? Beauty. Oh. Oh. It looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. Really? And something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever uh, been to this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen someone like this before. Yeah, the, r the room where um, uh, Lynn got shot, right? It reminds me of that. Taking something precious to manipulate others, so that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks those without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing. There's no way there's a little girl in there before this uh, guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Oh, Sleeping Beauty. All right, open. Burn brighter. Uh-oh. Wait, what if we cause a death? Uh-oh. All right, what's this do? Okay. Okay, why, why would I want to do that? I want to get into the present? Spend all this time in the past. Oh. Okay. Can I have a marble mono coins? I don't know what that means, so no. Move. This is one of those things you light with fire, isn't it? As long as there's light in the room, is something like this really necessary? But if something can be lit, it kind of makes me want to light it. That's true. That's true. I need another core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. We're going to create cores now? All right, rock the shelf. Uh, no. Darn. I can't reach my destination from here. Ball, ball, spin, party popper, fire. <gasps> oh! Just my imagination. Just my imagination, that all, that's all he has to say? If he was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. But look at that streamer <laughs> go spinning round and round. Yeah, look at it. Now, how can I make use of that? All right, so we so we set it on 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 fire. Cake box. All right, what does this party pooper do? Uh, popper do? Just my imagination. Just my imagination, that's all he has to say. What ama an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Right, so what if I what if I use this thing? Oh Oh Alright, so will the will the the fire reach if I if I light that on fire, will it get? It won't. It, there's no way it's gonna reach that, is it? I guess we're gonna find out. No. When the flame gets really big like this, for some reason, I get the urge to burn something. Unfortunately, everything is just out of the flame's reach. 
Hmm. Can I swing into the flame? Oh, it won't let me. Oh, you know what I do? You know what I do? I make it go faster. There's no way this would work. But it's fun. Should have just uh, burned this whole place to the ground. Just my imagination. You know what I want? I want a, I want a game like this, except instead of saving people, you're constantly killing people through this. Like it, Final Final Destination, the video game, where you're the vindictive Grim Reaper, just just manipulating everything, killing people. Ghost dick. <laughs> nice one, Shatter. Oh, she really is in there. Wait, what? Wrong girl? What in the... What's going on there? This little lady is... Is this little lady really a daughter of the Justice Minister? my imagination what's with the fun book and juice like I said always keep a smile on a lady's face I wanted to treat our guest well how about treating me well I'd like some bread and milk please bread and milk storms coming Gotta get the bread and milk at your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Bread and milk is pretty mid. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house. Hmm? This house is where I used to live. What, what? Oh, oh, really? Okay, so this is Jowd's house and she's Jowd's daughter? I'm guessing? I apologize, little lady. I think they kidnapped the wrong person. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh, oh, I see. It's been empty for five years and apparently nobody ever comes here. And never mind that. What about my bread and milk? That's true. Oh, oh of course. That's true. She did ask for that. Now, you be a good girl while I'm gone. <sighs> you just read your book and drink your juice. Read your juice and drink your book. I want to go home. Not quite yet. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house? What's going on here?
What in the world? Why does the little lady have the core of the dead? Oh, oh, when I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean she must have died sometime after that. Wait, what? It also means somebody else must have saved her. What? All right. Are we at the cliff? I'd better ask her what happened. Are we? Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile? Wait, m missile? Missile saved her? I'm sorry, I'm not missile. My name is Sissel. Sissel? That sounds like missile. My name is Camilla. Camilla, so it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing. This is the land of the dead. Land of the dead? Does, does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. This isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really, I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember, sort of. You do? It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm. So there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Is it the lamp? Anyway, I don't want to oppress her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, eh? Ahem. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Oh, is it Camila? I thought it was Camilla. Is it Camila? Hmm. Oh, also, thank you to uh, Val... Krill? Val Krill? I think the one is an L for the resub. Thank you very much, Val Krill. That was 15 minutes ago. Sorry I didn't see it now. I think Camilla, right? Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Temsic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, eh? What am I going to do? Lynn's going to be mad. Okay, what is it about all the all the Temsic? Did something happen there? What's going on? I still feel like I don't have enough information. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. Uh-oh. That music box was uh, hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? I don't know where. I'll pretend I don't know. You know. You don't have to humor me. Hehe, <laughs> oops. So what happened to the music box? I hid it, hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before? Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lim know. All right. This is your old house. Yep. This is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Is he the justice minister? My father is gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away. No, that's not it. My dad. He's going to die, and it's all because of me. What? What? What do you mean, because of me? Because of you. Well, why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. No way. Don't tell me. Your father is Detective Cabanera? That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. You killed... You oh. Huh. Okay. Five years ago, that murder case... It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. Okay, so... The name of the park is... Is the is the is what the guy said when when he was going to said like I need to clean up all of the uh, in the city right and 
Lynn was at that park at some point, and she was going to be abducted. And I, I'm under, I'm operating under the assumption that something made Lynn shoot us against her will. So, did something happen in that park? That some people, it's it's a it's a public park though. How many people have that problem? No, it can't be that. Maybe there's something linked to that. And then I ha had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. What? I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? And then it killed- Oh, it's- it is the- Wait, what? Oh, it is the basement. Um. Um. Lamayo got her? Surprise! <laughs> mom, mom! What was that noise? I still can't believe it happens. It wasn't supposed to work like that. I love that they reused the uh, the cupboard that we used to sh to knock the ball over as her hiding spot for the surprise. And I love that they they reuse the kind of room again later. That that was that's that's really neat. I like that a lot. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Hmm. I know that contraption, and I know how it's how it's supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake. A birthday message. Uh, who, who? So so after you set it up, the the phantom shot football killer snuck in the room and was like, whoa, time to mess. Oh, it was a ghost, wasn't it? It has, it has, it has to be a ghost. So someone came in and did some ghost party tricks, and and must have changed it. Why would they do that? My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked him for it. But I want to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said what I saw what what I saw was a bed. What? Wait, hold on. He told me to forget it. This is also unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jowd's daughter. That's what you can't believe. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, alright? Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, Sissy. Don't forget me! took you so long. I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. Humph, I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work, all for this, the sake of his dial. Be quiet. Cereal with milk or dry cereal? I don't eat cereal anymore, but when I was a cereal enjoyer, I always had it with milk. Milk and cereal is pretty good. Uh, Lily and the children uh, do not eat it with milk. They eat dry cereal. And the reason why that is is because Lily eats it with dry cereal, and, and, and she's the one that gives them more, most of the cereal. And also, I you know went along with it because it's a lot less clean up. So yeah, I prefer cereal with milk. All of them? Well, they, they don't eat that much cereal, to be honest. Like, you know, most mornings they don't have cereal. It can't be helped. It can't be helped! This place is too dangerous. Ugh. 
Why are people just blue? Plot hole. Oh, they're uh, they're they're half ghosts. We haven't learned about it yet. Th these are people that were brought back from their deathiums more than once, maybe, or more than five times, or in the last second of their deathium, maybe. Who knows? I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. All right, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. They're British. I'm British, and I'm not blue. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. How does she have this power? All right, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. Her book? Her spine! Have you heard of the book series Ranger's Apprentice from John Falmagan? No, I haven't. Sorry, I've never heard of that. Is it good? All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole that little lady's smile away five years ago. Do, 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 do. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know all of, uh, about all this? Of course she does. What? That, that's that's uh, Jowd's daughter? I never knew. If this was Final Fantasy 16, that would be a coincidence and she wouldn't actually know. And she'd be like, whoa, all this time I've been living with Detective Jowd's daughter? Whoa! One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. Uh, the summon that kidnappers final words. Nah, I'm just kidding. They wouldn't even bring it up and talk about it. She would just nod and say nothing. Do those two know? Do they know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? <sighs> Was Final Fantasy 16 that bad? My my weeb, the the dog had more screen time than the main love interest. It looks like the the kidnappers made a big mistake. Eh? The girl in the trunk was Detective Zhao's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. Now there's two of them. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. I mean, are we really gonna say, hey, like, it's not your daughter kidnapped, so it's fine? And then they're gonna kill some other girl thinking that they do have the daughter, and then they're gonna be like, oopsie doopsie? I told Lynn what I had found out about the kidnapping, that it that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house, and that they sensed my presence and were already gone. But Camilla, why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old Justice Minister. I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. Yeah, it looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow, did they? The poor girl kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists too, like the kidnappers winding up in and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could just be a coincidence. I mean, you know, if this was Final Fantasy 16 and them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, detective, I want you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. How can I believe in you? I'm a realist. Please. If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times, my, my wife won't answer. She won't? It, it's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? Why do you have to go and make if... But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? Oh, 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 oh! It doesn't prove it. 
Or maybe it means that she's out trying to find the kidnapped daughter. Objection. And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. What? Woo! Besides, if the execution is carried out, woo, 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 no. Just. Oh shit! Sorry. Yeah, you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you're not, but you think you are. Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hostage will be killed. What difference does it make that it's not my daughter? Woo wee! That's quite a that's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Oh, it's Elvis! Oh, uh -huh. miss me, baby. Inspector Cabanella. All right. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. I don't know what this voice is anymore. Oh, the bow. Holy crap. The uh, escape prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Is this a, a long scarf or part of the jacket? Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd, I'm so sorry, I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I can. I'm so sorry. Lynn. Well, please, don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful... Oh, hold on. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. It's they're becoming Kermit. They're coming. They're, everything's becoming Kermit. <laughs> Kermit and Goofy on a long enough timeline. <laughs> you you knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? That the execution was tonight. Do do a shower joke. Oh, the, the the Kermit shower joke is so dirty though. No, I did. I think I did that once on stream before. I don't want to do it again. That was it's such a dirty joke. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. Can you do Kermit Goofy voice? No, I don't think I can do Kermit and Goofy. If you put Goofy, it will counteract the Kermit. A dirty Joe, just take a Kermit shower. All right, let me get slipping. Okay, this is a dirty joke, all right? This is an adult joke, all right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> let me slip into it. Hello, Kermit the Frog here. I don't always eat bacon, but when I do, I make her shower first. There you go. And, uh, and you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jiao can never have done such a thing. Uh -huh. Oh come on now, baby! I know, I know, no such thing, huh? I know two things to be true, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty, and two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here. To brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? What? No! For your own selfish reasons. He's stalling the execution. So were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Oh, baby, as far as I'm concerned, this friend is a convicted felon and murdered his wife. What else am I supposed to go on? He confessed. I hate him. Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lynn. But Detective Jowd... I'm a death row in... <laughs> I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But, but. It fits. It doesn't fit. What are you talking about? My poor Emily. Is she all right? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named Camilla. 
Why is the dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute, Emily? Could that be Emily next door? Yes, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. No, not me, my wife. It's a complicated- Now, now that's a coincidence! Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The Minister's wife ran away on him? Maybe they grew apart, what with him being so busy. Yeah, I bet, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me inside my own head. <gasps> Alright. We should talk to Lynn first, right? Thank you to Kane Maxi for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Kane Maxi. Thank you very much. According to what I heard, Emily was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. But Emily didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh. And so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead? Apparently, Emily and Camilla are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. Oh, it's just a, an accident. Okay. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh, right. You asked her to bring the music box. Camilla. The music box for Cusco. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter, but it's actually your daughter. That's terrible. What's, what's their demand? The carrying out of your execution tonight. Ha ha ha! I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. Wait, if you didn't even... If you didn't even kill your wife... Why do they want you dead so bad? Are, are they the ones that, that messed with it? And they just want to sweep it under the rug and then make it all go away? Do they not know that you didn't kill your wife? Was the wife into something? Is it because... Is it got nothing to do with your wife and, and you were, like, on the case or something and they want you to go away permanently? Like... What's going on here? I, I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Or shrimple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. What? Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. Oh, the music. No, it can't be. And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him! I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours! Oh <gasps> my god! What if instead of finding something worth dying for, we find something worth living for? <gasps> Whoa, is that possible? Is that true? Is it true what Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? The murder five years ago. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's birthday. We came home from work, but she went in, and she went in first. Oh, was it was it set up to kill you? I don't understand what's going on here. I hope this is good, because if, if it is, then I'm I'm going to be happy. Because, damn. Mom, mom. What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. Oh, so you, you don't know how she was shot. Okay, and you, you just... Confess? No question? No. Okay, I don't buy that. L hold on, L let's let them explain. So, the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible. Camilla told me about it, she was crying. She said the contraption she made did something that it wasn't supposed to, and it made an impossible move. Okay, there we go, an impossible move. A pro gamer move? It's been five years since then, I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma, there's no other explanation. That's what I'd convince everyone of, even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? It was a ghost trick! That day, in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Or, it was a ninja... Through the window- Mission Impossible Den, on the Party Popper streamers. 
tampered with it and then lifted out via helicopter that was in stealth mode so no one heard it i'm just saying you know like th that's also a possibility maybe not all there are a couple of other people who know about these powers is somebody there can you hear me i can sense your presence you know the kidnappers who abducted camilla knew about those powers Oh, excuse me. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like uh, my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jowd, there's still time before dawn, a little anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? An impossible move. Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about the contraption. One, the first was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right. That was an antique gun I'd had on display for years. It was given me by my Uncle Chekhov, so it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Why was it loaded? Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? It was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Surprise! Dinosaur office! Rawr. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. And they just knew she was going to stand in this exact spot. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. What was the adjustment? I took the gun out of the frame and put my fingerprints all over. What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Come to think of it. There was no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out uh, of that frame with the picture. Okay, so bird guy in, in the in the dump is pretty fucking sus right now. That's too obvious, though. Why would there be a replica there? Is that just like... Was that for experimenting? Was that a recreation to see how it could have happened? Did that come first or was this first? I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption, but one thing was for certain, that gun was still smoking, literally. So that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? You mean? And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what's in the was in the box, huh? Okay, how did you make it so no one could open it? I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police, my own pistol, and they just and they just never checked that the ballistics on it or anything. They were just say, oh, whatever, seems legit. And then I shot, shot my wife again in, in the exact same bullet hole. And I did a few other things to make it look good. <laughs> ah, there we go. I won't go into detail, yeah. And then I pulled the bullet out and then shot her in the same bullet wound with my gun. When I was all done, I turned myself in. What? Okay. Detective Jowd, is that what, uh, is that what you told us just now? Sorry, is what you told us just now true? Oh, yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time. Time to solve the case that started five years ago. Okay, here's what we need to do. You need to kill Cabanella, all right? Just pull out a gun, shoot him in the head right now, okay? Or we need to kill Cabanella and then we'll just rewind time, and then Cabanella can speak to the ghost, and he actually didn't die, and then and then there we go, like we're good, right? And then we can all communicate, and Cabanella's on our side. Done. Whoa! You didn't. Holy shit, Joe! How is that? Holy shit, Joe! It's not actually killing him. 
If I if I had to if like I was in this form, I would kill everybody so I could kill I could talk to everyone. I bring them back afterwards. It it's not unhinged at all. No. You didn't do it, Detective Jout, and of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true uh, perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. For Camilla Sake, and all of her sakes, I love you and all their got. That sounds wonderful. Finally, hope! Thank you, Detective Jout. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Temsic Park, Camilla left it there. That gun is important evidence. You better go pick it up. Oh, uh, wait, hold on a second, baby. What's going on? I've been uh, frozen in place all this time. Yes, sir. I'll go. I'll go right now. Sissel, take care of Detective Jowd and do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. Eh, a little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. It's up to us. I can't just go off to die without doing something. Alright, punch him, grab the spear. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. Hmm, is he a baddie or not? I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. Alright, kick him in the balls. Kick him in the balls! Grab the spear and twist! I see, my old friend, in more ways than one. Oh! What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as pl tonight as planned, or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? Uh, the order still stands. Can't be helped. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. Your wish is my command. Yeah, as you wish, Your Excellency. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. Please, don't bow down to me. Especially not that low. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange your prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir. It's like a lot of heart, but smooth. What the hell's that? Van should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row inmate? I mean, do we do we really blame Cabanella here? Like, as far as he's concerned, his his best buddy partner turned out to be a, a psychotic killer that killed his wife, like, as far as he's concerned, in like in like cold blood, right? Confess to the whole thing. That's good. That's gonna. That's gonna change a man, right? Like his best friend. Like it makes him more cynical, more just like you know, I'm out of the game. I'm just gonna do it. I don't know. Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one, I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it, how? I doubt his wife is ever gonna answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right, but a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? Oh, you know. You know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost, wanna join the family? Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change the situation. Gee, detective. For these past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter, but is there a way? It 
Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I can't hear you. La 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 la. La 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 I'm sure you heard everything we've been saying. Are you telling me you don't believe any of it? Let me speak plainly. I don't trust you. But there's somebody else whom I trust even less. Oh yeah? Who's that? Me. I can't explain your existence. It's not normal, but I'm pretty abnormal myself. What? So maybe you're a, a figment of my imagination, a delusion. Would you listen to a delusion? Uh, based, to be honest. I have no idea what you're talking about. I got the bit about you not trusting me though. Good, all right. No, 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 no. Well, hanging around here won't change anything. I've got 10 minutes before the prison van shows up. Unless someone dies, if I could just do something about the kidnapping in those 10 minutes, I guess the telephone lines are my only hope. All right, let's see what the lamp thinks about all this. Oh, thank you to uh, Rainy022. Uh, or 022 for the resub. Thank you very much, Rainy. And thank you to M Empyrean. I think it's Empyrean94 for the resub also. Thank you very much. Hey, why so quiet? Oh, Ray? Oh, no. Some of you feel bad for the lamp. That is because you're crazy. What's going on? Maybe he isn't here anymore. He's pretending. He's pretend. He's pretending. He's pretending. We need to do a uh, GPR. <gasps> Not even tricks are working. two hours yeah i know i just want to check this and then i assume it's going to do a um a chapter change it looks like the old pigeon guy decided to go somewhere else there's something very off about this place old dusty junk side by side with well-maintained equipment anyway oh he's a ghostbuster anyway it doesn't look like things are going to change here much for a while maybe he's a ghostbuster actually you know what let's just take a break here and this is like some cozy screen anyway be back go walk around if you've been seeing the whole time G -g -g ghost I sense somebody's presence in this dimly lit place. Tonight is probably our last chance. If he doesn't come here tonight. Humph, I think the silence is starting to get to me. This old man is apparently waiting for somebody. The only thing waiting for me is the end of my existence. Hmm. Wait, you you reset it? Or oh no 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 we we um we stopped it didn't we? Okay. Oh so when we we tampered with this we made it work like it properly should have and lit the candles instead. All right, why, why would you make this? Is there some, it seems like there's, there's some sort of society that knows about the ghost tricks. Maybe even we are, are a part of that society and we've just forgotten about it. Why would we be doing all this though? And not show you my ghost trick?
Thank you, uh, Lexical Paralysis, for gifting out two gift subs. Thank you so much, Lexical Paralysis. Thank you, thank you. Just as I thought. Wait, she wasn't here last time, though. This little girl is safe in her bed. Maybe she's just using the bathroom when we were here last time. Cough, cough. You can skip the telephone line transitions, by the way. Why would I do that when someone's gonna make a a uh, montage of just us, just those parts from the stream, and then Kay is gonna watch it five million times over the next 20 years? Why would I skip? Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link in the long chain of a sad fate lit a fire in Jowd's heart. Jowd's? Jowd's heart. And the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm on a joke. Thank you, Man of Answers. That's, that's after you count how many times they say ghost trick, right? I'm getting a strange premonition, a deadly premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight has related back to me in some way, and I bet this mistaken written abduction does too. Nice ear flap. Who are you gonna call ghost trickers? Oh, that's a, that's a sub message. We don't read those, except sometimes we do. Thank you, Annie Storm Sonic. For the resub, thank you very much. I visited the novelist's apartment again. Visited the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, I doubt the justice minister will call off the execution tonight. Would he? Like, it's still someone kidnapped and being threatened. The key to dispelling the minister's doubts is now in bed coughing. I'm gonna sneeze, I think. And I need to use this key before that prison, prison van arrives to... Phew! <coughs> Sorry. Before that prison van arrives to uh, pick up our death row inmate. Cough, cough. This is how I write my scripts. Just kidding, I don't write scripts. My darling angel, oh, just listen to that cough. You naughty thing, did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night to play? A daughter after my own heart, but I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. Could I do a Miss Piggy voice to match the Kermit? I didn't go out to play, I went to buy Papa a birthday present. Kermit! No, I can't do it. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this late at night. But my fever finally went down. I could barely move before that. But look what it brought you. Your fever is worse now than ever. Here, Here is to the feverish passion of my darling angel. Chat, just finished my first Madden Evolve Idol. Fanaticism or Anthropology? All right, Smear, let me let me give you the, the, the skinny on uh, Fanaticism versus Anthropology. Okay, so if you are just going to be doing another Mad Reset, which you probably will be doing, okay, you want to go Anthropology. Unless, unless it is an absolute... Okay, so when you pick Fanaticism, you inherit a trait from the last species you played as, and you can look on the wiki to see which one you're going to inherit, okay? If it is a banger trait, it, it might be better to go Fanaticism. If, if the last one you went was was, was like, um, was Ent, and you in, uh, inherit uh, kind, kind, Kindling Kindred, then it's worth it to go Fanaticism. But in almost every other case, if you're just doing a mad reset, you should just go Anthropology. If you're going past a mad reset, if you're going to tier T2 or T3 or whatever, it is almost always better to go fanaticism no matter what the trade is because um, fanaticism scales better. Mama? Yes, darling? Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday even though it's already past midnight. Let's do it. Not tonight, Emily. No, let's do it. I hate you. It looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. 
But there's another lucky development too. Emily wants to call her father. Can Evolve Discussions stay in Evolve Discord? Can U Ula Panda Panda's thoughts stay in their own head? Permanently ban the shatter for five minutes, please? Now, if I can just make use of that feeling somehow, that would surely bring the Justice Minister around. Light. Uh oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Call. The phone. The casino. Emily, I told you, you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Emily. Your father is about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who's the justice minister, you know. Oh, are you behind this? All you do is, is write weird novels. Hey! Whoa! Hey! Hey, Fatsby. No, not your food. Oh, oh, she's going Super Saiyan. What do you mean, weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions and now you've really made me angry. You really have. How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? I hate you. That was pretty cool, actually, how her hair opened. There. I'll be keeping my eye on you now, so you won't do anything else mischievous. Like calling your father. I hate you. I can hear you, you know. Okay, let's let's make her drink a shit ton of wine and pass out. Here we go. Phew, what a pair. I don't know what this family's issues are, but I do know I have to do something about this lady so Emily can call. Uh-oh. Turn knob. Better not put out the lamp right now. It will only pour oil on the flames of anger in this lady's heart. If I want to give Emily a chance to use the telephone, I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. How about we finish writing her story for her? Yes, yes. Uh-oh. Well, well, having a good time, are we, little rodent? Go on. Sweet dreams. Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? Is the rat dead? Do we do we do we ghost trick the rat? She's more powerful than I thought. It looks like she tipped the wall ca candelabra to one side too. Hmm, the angle of these candles. Good feeling I've seen something very similar to that quite recently. Huh. Huh. Hmm? Oh ho! Oh sh! Oh heavens, a blackout at a critical time like this? Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but I myself am not very fond of the dark. Old phones still work in a blackout though. Some of you might not know that actually. The chandelier just narrowly missed the, the back of my head. The, I love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kinds of thrills, thank you. How, um, old phone. Okay, so if, if you're if you had a cordless phone that needed to be plugged into the wall, that wouldn't work. But if you had a phone that didn't have to plug into plug into the wall, um, like like an actual like power adapter, like an, an outlet. If it if it was just a phone that plugged into the phone line and that's it, that's all it did, then um, it would get power from a separate source. So if there was a blackout around the city, very often your phone line would still work. 
rotary. It didn't have to be a rotary phone. Just just a, just a phone that plugged into the into the um, I can't remember what they're called. I can't I can't remember what 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 the, what the phone jack is called. But yeah, that's it. What a wonderful atmosphere. Perfect for a clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. The fake Ethernet port. Yeah, 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 yeah. Landline. Yeah, la the landline had, had its own power. I don't exactly know how the situation came about, but I think I owe the rat an apology. The rat seems to be unconscious. But now that the room has changed into this, maybe I can use it somehow. Uh-oh. Examine. Hmm, the lady's dictionary. Wasn't this on her desk before? The poor thing, destined to never be returned to the bookshelves. What a naughty chandelier. Alright, what are we supposed to do here? Are you closer to 40 than 30? Yes, I am 37. I turned 38 uh, in November of this year. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, what? Do I lower? If when I lowered it, didn't it? Uh, oh, maybe I can swing the chandelier. Burn brighter. That was a close one. Uh, okay, that doesn't do anything. No, don't do that. Chime? No. What do I do? Can't use the hoist. Making it burn brighter does nothing. The crank didn't do anything. The crank is there's, there's like not even that much to interact with. How am I not getting it? Am I uh swing harder? Get over there? This is a okay, if I if I use it when she's not there, is there something else I can do? You've played Death Stranding, yeah? How did you like it? Not only did I play it. Not only did I play it. I streamed it. So you can go see if you want. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. 7 out of 10. Do I make it burn brighter when she's out off of her chair? What the hell was that noise? I, I don't I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, chat. I don't I don't know what to do. I'm 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 proper stuck. I don't, I don't understand what it wants from me. Do I have to like wait until the the, the fire flares and then turn the crank? Do I tur do I turn the crank, make her come over, and then turn the crank again so it falls on her?
Whoa, the moves. The balls. All right, we got her. Emily, Emily, help me. No, only after, after I call my dad, mama. I'm sorry, mama. I'm too dizzy. I can't get up. I'm afraid I can't help you right now. If only I had spoken to my father. Ah ha ha, here's to the weakness of my darling angel. The chandelier is on, is on there tighter than her wedding band. The shade. What? So you mean she can get out of it? Okay. Uh, she won't be able to escape on her own. Eh. All right. Now let's now let's make the fire flare up. If I recall, the novelist said she didn't like the dark. I don't want her thrashing around more in more than she is already. We're not put out the lamp right now. Okay. Now, okay, now so what do I do? Lamayo, we trapped her. Now we don't do anything. Chime! Waha! Oh, you know what I do? Maybe I crank it again. This time we pull her up. What? What is going on here? Emily, look, do you see this? Help me, please. Rip and tear. Trick or treat. Sorry, I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. K -k sorry. Oh, no. My head is spinning, so I guess you'll just have to stay up there spinning, too. You know what? Let's drop her. Mwahaha. I swear, this is just like the thrill of falling in love. I've got it. That could be the title of my next novel. Lady Chandelier falls in love. It's perfect. Thank goodness she's tough. I have to get Emily a chance to make that phone call. Should I try shaking this lady up a little more? Yeah, absolutely. Looks like this lady won't be going anywhere for a while. Now the little girl can call her father. The only trouble is she can't reach it, so I guess I'll just have to deliver it to her. Okay, how? How? Well, that's right, the angle of those candles. I saw something very similar to the, to the similar just recently, didn't I? Oh no! Chaos! Now I really owe that poor rat an apology. But this might be a really good chance for me too. I have to get that phone to Emily. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I can't move the chandelier right now with her thrashing around like that. I hear ominous creaking coming from the ceiling too. This is a dangerous situation. Oh no! The casino! What in the world is going on here? We're ghost trick. Thank you, Vanny227 for the resub. Thank you very much. 15 minutes ago, what a great streamer. Thank you, thank you. Oh, goody. Excuse me a minute while I call Papa, okay, Mama? I'll only be a minute. Hey, uh, Papa. Don't you dare, Emily. I won't have it. Get me down. Hello, Papa? Gasp. Emily? Is that you? Of course it is, silly. What did you think? But I heard they said you were... Can you give her Miss Puffs voice? I don't know what Miss Miss Puffs is. No, never mind. It's nothing. Silly old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Birthday. All oh, right. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm sorry. We couldn't celebrate tonight. Thanks to mean old Mama. Miss Puff from SpongeBob. I I'm not into anime. Sorry. Oh, you mean old Mama? I mean your mother. What is she up to right now? 
Well, she's certainly up all right. <laughs> My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Get me down. She needs to be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, Emily. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible mistake, but it's all right now. Oh, okay. I was about to call off the execution, but now I know I have to do it. You're still young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. The job of Justice Minister is very complicated, you see. Okay. Have you ever seen ghosts or things moving? I've never seen things moving, but when I was a kid, I used to see ghosts a lot. Um, and then when I got older, I got diagnosed with a sleep disorder that makes me have hippo gag nick hallucinations. So that's what it was. I was I was uh, dreaming while awake. It was a big relief. Is it hippogagnic or hypno hippo hypnogognic? One of those two. But just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. Does this all happen to you? Um, much more rarely now. I would like. Whenever I say this, I always I always feel like it's it's like either it's gonna come across as cringe or people aren't gonna understand it or they're gonna or they're not even gonna believe me. Like, I, I, I've had narcolepsy so long and so many bad dreams for so long and nightmares that I've set up defense mechanisms in my head and um, I don't really give myself the chance to hallucinate or have bad dreams anymore. I just. I just wake up a lot all the time like it's it's pretty rare that I sleep more than 20 minutes at a time again I know how that sounds and by by like 20 minutes at a time I don't mean that you know I sleep 20 minutes and then I wake up and do something I mean like almost every 20 minutes I will like toss and turn in bed or just open my eyes for a second and then go back to sleep um, th that's that's what I mean um, it still does happen occasionally I do sleep longer than that um, but I usually don't sleep for longer than 20 minutes However, in the past few years, um, I find it, it's, it has um, been less effective. From like mid mid twenties, maybe late twenties till mid thirties, because um, I'm in late thirties now. Fantastic. Um, the the systems I had set up uh, worked quite well. Like I my, my brain had just been I didn't do it intentionally either. I just kind of like just conditioned myself to notice certain triggers in in my dreams and and to watch out for when I was asleep. Um, and, uh, and now I don't really stay asleep for that long, but I've noticed lately in the past few years that it hasn't been as effective and sometimes I do get, um, uh, in a dream for, for a bit. The big one that, that made me have to do it was that I got stuck in, I got stuck in so many dream loops. Some of them I've said on stream before where, um, I get, I, 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 I'm in a dream. I realize I'm dreaming. I wake up from the dream into another dream, not realizing I'm in another dream. And then I will I will talk to talk to my wife. I will do things, and then I will and then I will say, wouldn't it be funny if I was dreaming right now? And then I would wake up, and and uh, I, that happens with enough layers and with enough regularity that it like profoundly fucked me up. It profoundly fucked me up. For for years after that happened, I I would I would just walk down the street sometimes, or it just from day to day I would close my eyes and I would just be like I wonder if I'm dreaming right now because I know how to wake myself up when I'm dreaming um and I was like I wonder if I'm, I'm dreaming right now and asleep and I would and I would try to wake up and a couple times I did um so like it, it profoundly fucked me up and and I think that made me have to set up these like like defense mechanism things that were where I just don't really I don't sleep for that long at a time um, and uh, it's been a lot better uh, for not having that happen. But hey, uh, it also means that I don't get that much rest, but I'm used to it, I think. Do you have fallen lucid dreams? I have had some lucid dreams, but usually when I realize I'm in a dream, um, my goal is to wake up because I've had so many bad uh, experiences dreaming that I don't want to stay in the dream. Um, I've also had some experience with sleep paralysis, which scares the ever-living fuck out of me, even more than getting stuck in a dream loop. 
And um, so when I realize I'm I'm asleep and I'm dreaming, there's a there's there's like a panic that sets in, and is like my goal is to wake up as soon as possible. So I have I have had seek a way out. <laughs> uh, I have had uh, some lucid dreams, yeah, but uh, normally they don't last. Were you prescribed any medicines, and did they have any effect? I was prescribed something to help me stay awake during the day, and it gave me. It gave me heart palpitations, but at that point in my life, I was I didn't really like the thought of taking any medication. Um, so maybe I should have stuck with it and given it more of a chance. It wasn't like horrific heart palpitations. It was just I felt kind of weird on the stimulant to um, to keep me awake during the day. But I didn't really that wasn't the problem. The problem was not being able to uh, um, was was the problem was not being able to sleep at night, uh, and it's. In my experience, it's a lot harder to get something that will make you fall asleep as, as a prescribed drug than than, um, than something that'll help you stay awake at night. Um, the doctor I had was not that great. B basically, I, again, sorry to repeat content for some people who've been here for a lot of streams. I basically went to a, a sleep clinic and the guy was like, you know, we're gonna do a sleep study. Uh, you know, let's hope it's not narcolepsy. And then, and then that's what I had. Let my and then, and then, like I went to see him after the sleep study, and he's like, "You have this. Um, you should probably go get a brain scan to make sure you don't have a brain tumor or, or some uh, some abnormality." And then I went and did that. I had a CAT scan. Um, I had an MRI later in life for because for something else. My mom died, and she died of a brain aneurysm. So I went for an MRI to see if I had one. Um, they all the doctors recommended I do that after she died of a brain aneurysm, even though it wasn't hereditary. It was. Um, she gave it to herself from smoking. So, so, so she was a huge smoker. Apparently, smoking is one of the the best ways to get a brain aneurysm. If you want one, is, is smoking. Um, so it, it, it like catapults your 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 risk rate for getting a brain aneurysm if you're smoking. Um, what are you doing, Gatsby? And then I there's nothing showed up on the CAT scan. And then I went back to the doctor. And he just kind of like shrugged and was like, "Okay, good luck. Try the stimulant." And and that was it. Um, I probably should have went back and harassed him, but I was really young at the time, and I didn't realize this was. I was think I was 21 when I got diagnosed with narcolepsy, 21, 22, maybe even 20. I'm not sure. Lily probably remembers better than I do. Um, and I and, and at that age, I didn't realize that with doctors, if you want anything, you kind of have to push for it. If you have a really good doctor, you don't have to do that. But that really goes for anything in life. If if you want anything done, if you if you want results, you kind of have to be assertive and a little pushy um, and I didn't realize I had to do that um, back then narcolepsy could be hereditary oh yeah I know narc nar narcolepsy can be hereditary I think almost anything can be hereditary um, I'm pretty sure uh, Finn and Kate have have it Finn has something like it for sure Kate we're not sure yet um, Leo and Mila are fine so far someone asked how do I know I'm dreaming there's an intangible quality to dreams that I can sometimes recognize, but when it came to nightmares, um, I, I don't know how to properly describe the feeling. It's it's like it's like I would notice that something was wrong in the dream. A, a big one. I don't know why. A big one would be that a a ball would like start bouncing in the corner of my eye, or someone would knock on a door. Just something about something like entering the scene for lack of a, a better term you know that something would be wrong and then that would make and, and it's like my brain went oh my god he's realizing he's dreaming quick you know release the nightmare and then I would be like haha fuck you no not if I escape first and then I would just wake up you know like it's like because really that, that that's what it is it's, it's your brain fucking with itself that's what the dream is um so yeah um yeah, I had I had really bad nightmares for a long time. Is it true that you can't read any writing or that you can't tell the time from a clock on, on a on a whole, not digital one? I am pretty sure I've read something in a dream. I've also done writing in a dream. I've I've had a lot of created I creative ideas in dreams. Sometimes they're stupid though. When I wake up and I'm like that in the dream it was like that's genius, and then I wake up and I'm like oh what the fuck that's terrible. You know. Um. But I'm pretty sure I've read in a dream. Um. I don't remember trying to read a clock face in a dream. I don't remember that happening.
Do you feel pain in your dreams? Oh god, yes. I've died in a lot of dreams. Absolutely. I don't understand how that works, yeah. It's probably not the real kind of pain that you feel, right? Um, but yeah, oh fuck yeah, you can- I feel pain in dream, yeah. Anyway, sorry, let's- let's uh, let's keep- let's keep playing. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa, have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Emily. Good night, sweetheart. Um, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness, why the sudden change? I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Emily. I wish I could hug you. I thought all you ever did was write the, these weird novels. That makes me a little sad. Papa said the job of Justice Minister was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right. I shouldn't treat you like a like, like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up after all. Did you really switch your three video in your dream? No, I really I released it on YouTube. You haven't seen it? Hold on one second. It's there. You haven't watched it? Hold on. Oh, I didn't hit publish. Oh, shit. My bad. Hold on one second. Let me just... Uh... Go here, scroll down, and there you go. You can go watch it. Hope you like it. I was just waiting for your comment to show up on stream. There you go. And I promise to, to stop calling your novels weird and try actually reading them. What? Oh, uh, maybe you better wait until you're a little older for that. <laughs> Tisk. Oh, okay. So, Emily, if you're feeling a little more charitable toward your old mama, do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that. But I'm feeling... I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. I love how many people still spam my yaya, even though you stopped doing that long ago. I, I've done it a couple times in the in the current stream season, but yeah, I don't do it as, as much as I used to. Because I don't know how loud it's going to be. Tonight on this holiest of nights, my deadline, it looks like the only thing pressing on me will be the chandelier. Here is to Papa and Mama's darling angel. Can we let her down? All of a sudden, everybody is getting along again. It's such an abrupt change, I can't understand it. Is this what family is all about? No. <laughs> no? In any case, uh, the situation has changed dramatically now. I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows on the minister's brow. I don't know where uh, Camilla is, but at least now the justice minister's doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office where everybody is waiting for the prison van. And we left her there. The minister's family now has their smiles and harmony back, but Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers. I decided to go back to the justice minister's office. Surprisingly, the minister's brow is still just as furrowed as ever, quite unlike a father who has just learned his daughter is safe. He seems to still be in the depths of despair. Despair. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. It seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something big is going to happen. Why is Google spreading misinformation when you look something up? It legit told me Moncton is a good place to live. I know, right? I know. They don't know. They don't know. I mean, maybe Moncton is fine? Like. I feel like Moncton wasn't that great when we moved here, but it was okay. We had a bad intro to it. There were, I don't know why, there were a lot of car accidents the first couple weeks we were here. And then those kind of stopped for a little bit. It's still kind of crazy out there, but like, you know, that that was unusual. Like we, we got unlucky, but um, it's gotten a bit, a bit, it's gotten, sorry, it's gotten significantly worse here, but like, it feels like all of Canada is just going to the shitter right now. So. Like, the problems that we're having in Moncton, like, I'm hearing people say that they're having the same issues in Ontario, so... And, uh, and Montreal even more, so I just feel like all of Canada... M mostly it's the healthcare system is collapsing. Trudeau, your healthcare system collapsed, like, that's... and that's scary, you know? I just found out that my daughter is safe, I like to express my gratitude. Thank you, thank you for my daughter Sake, and for mine. 
whitest face Trudeau says my bad. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're bad. Actually, did okay. I don't know a lot about politics, but didn't didn't Trudeau like like offer like a, a ton of federal money to all of the premiers of the provinces of Canada as long as as the as the as the provinces would like like itemize that they and prove that they were actually going to spend it on health care and then all the premiers were like not falling for that trick i'm like what the fuck are you doing so maybe it's more complicated than that but like come what the hell like it's, it's money for the healthcare system that's crumbling just just fucking take it and actually spend it on health care it's free fucking money but no, that'll set precedent that then we have to tell you what we're spending the healthcare money on and we don't want that. How can you be more transparent about this shit? No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. Oh, what did he do? But one question. I can't help but notice your daughter is safe. And yet you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Uh... Of course, there is still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? Please let me think in peace until the prison van arrives. Probably like, worst night of my life was in a Moncton hospital. Maybe number one. Aw, oh, man. Man, they need to fix the healthcare. They need to fix the healthcare so bad. I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. Until we get her report, I guess I'll just have to wait here. This continued distress uh, of the ministers. Is there really something more to it, like the inspector in white said? Cabanella? Do -do 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 -do. Nice to see people playing this game. Hope you're enjoying this remake. I am enjoying it. It's quite good. It's pretty good. And uh, I don't, I don't know if you know who I am, uh, or if you're just here because you like this game. But I, I hate games. Known game hater right here. Hello, Justice Minister. How about you finally admit I do exist? That thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. It was meant for you. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to control and manipulate people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. Hmm. Wish you could. <laughs> We've we've actually known, you know, for quite a while now, but I had no idea they were powers of the dead or of ghosts. No, known about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others, a manipulator. What's this? Oh, you're here too! That's, that's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jowd. Mr. Minister, why don't you just tell us everything you know? Yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top-secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Jowd. Right, they don't share too much top-secret information with the inmates in prison. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have, a certain, have certain points in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. You're all annoying! The rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics during a TV broadcast. Oh, I hate this person so much. Oh, uh, he- I'm so uncomfortable that this exists! The curry-loving fellow who took the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of these men had a motive for their crime, and both of their crimes were impossible. Impossible? Impossible? The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office, and the rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrecy leaked. The special investigation unit submitted an investigative report to me on them. They concluded that these men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. Volition is a good word, but how could that be? So we're just we're just chilling in the you know chilling in the corner right now, as Merrick said. Okay, uh, the theory the unit came up with was the existence of a, a manipulator. Yes, because that's plausible. Oh, here we are, a manipulator, huh? That's when this special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Okay, why is Jowd there? There's no way a police detective would kill his wife. Some unknown power has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cabanella has been studying these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating somebody into committing a criminal act, according to the inspector. The first case of its kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say I was manipulated somehow into shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another's behavior like that. 
Hmm, my powers certainly don't work on living creatures. What if they controlled your daughter, though? Hmm, that's what I thought when I f first heard the theory, too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. What? What? Big mistake? The minister's mistake? You mentioned mistake. Can you tell us about it? Yes, mm, yes, my mistake. It was a big mistake. I suppose everybody here is right to know. All right, fine. I'll speak out so loud that Inspector Cabanella can hear, hear the honest, too. Okay, that's great. What if he was he he can hear us? There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Mm -hmm. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist, and I want it. I learned the truth of that firsthand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Jao's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. <gasps> what? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. What's going on? This document, what am I doing? Wish I could stop. No, I mustn't sign it. No, stop. All right, so that's definitely what was happening to Lin. All right. Wait, don't deliver that document. Oh, it's not the cat, is it? Oh. Oh, don't do this to me, game. No, don't be the cat. Oh, don't be the cat. That's when it started. That's when all of my fear, despair, and suffering began. Fear, despair, and suffering. Right, right, plus two game, plus two. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I had been manipulated. And my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Hmm, so the memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, eh? Signing execution orders is part of a justice minister's job. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task, and the guard just came in and saw me, like, like doing this weird fucking dance after I signed it, reaching for the paper. He's like, eh, fucking seems legit. Let me take it. But the next day, it dawned on me. I remembered Inspector Cabanello's report on the existing manipulator. Why didn't you call it off? Maybe he did, and then, and then the threats started coming. As a minister of justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, this nation's judicial system would crumble. Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. All right, so it's like it's like the, it's like okay. So if you're if you have powers and you're and you're and you become a ghost and then you can you can move inanimate objects. Maybe if you're a ghost that comes back to life, you gain the power to control animate objects it's like uno reverse so in the end i couldn't admit to anybody what had happened hmm, i suppose but it sounds like a bit of an excuse oh sorry you should have at least told us mr minister yes mm, yes yes i know i should have i was running away from the problem and then my wife found out i was worried about something well if you go around with an expression like that i guess it's bound to happen I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was hide handling it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everybody the truth immediately, I'm moving out. Wait, wait, why do you have to tell everyone the truth? Just withdraw the order. What? And then, with the kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under um, my nose like that, I can no longer deny my mistake. I have a mosquito bite between my knuckles on my right hand that's driving me crazy. Mosquitoes love me. Oh man. My favorite thing right now is killing mosquitoes. I go outside and they just they just float right in front of my face and they're just like, oh, coming in for landing. And like the trick, if you ever want to kill a flying bug, you need to clap them. Both hands from the side as fast as you can. Don't try and go one hand or get a swat or anything. You got you gotta clap them. Like like that. I fucking love killing killing mosquitoes. They're so annoying. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. 
that's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. So there's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. Hmm. What if I'm not fine? What I'm not fine with is the fact that that person can control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. Not something you could do yet. Remember when I said you couldn't? I lied. Lamayo, apparently different ghosts get different ghost tricks. <laughs> you need to ghost level up. But I never imagined that tonight I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Oh, where it comes from? Inspector Cabanella. This manipulator is a ghost, a departed spirit. Uh, hey, wait, hold on. Hold on. I, I think we're jumping to Objection? No, it might not be. I think we're kind of jumping to conclusions here. Okay? It might not be. It might not be. Thank you, uh, P Kill Boredom, for the resub. Thank you very much. Right now. Damn, what a good streamer. Thank you very much, P Kill Boredom. Uh, spirit? Like a drink? As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. What? What did you say? Jow, don't tell me you can hear this ghost too? Yeah, you can. I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you. There, there are two guards in the room who haven't said anything. They were like toads from the Mario movie. Spirit, ghost, gods in heaven. Oh. Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. Time to dial 911 crazy. I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. Do -do -do. This is Lynn. I'm at the park. We've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? No. Uh, well, uh, the situation here is uh, it's kind of difficult to explain. Sissel, if you're there, come to the park immediately. Oh man, good thing we were in the phone. It looks like your help is needed, Sissel. Yeah, I guess so, huh? You know what I like about this game? I like that we're talking to multiple people. It's not just like, oh yeah, you you. So Lynn is the only one that can hear you, and for no fucking reason whatsoever, we're just gonna make it like, no, you can't talk to anybody else. It has to be a secret for no reason. Like, I, I like that we talk to different people. I never saw that coming. Never saw it coming. The minister was being controlled, huh? Joe, go through a stream without referencing Persona. Challenge impossible. I'm truly sorry, Detective Jowd. I have no excuse to offer you. You know, maybe it was all for the best. What do you mean? If you had never been manipulated, you never would have believed the power existed. After all, you're a realist, right? It just goes to show you, you never know when even the worst things can turn out good. The overall le level of happiness has gone up. Detective Jowd, I, I don't know what to say. All right, Sissel, you better go help Lynn. She's a good kid, but she's got a habit of taking on other people's problems. Yeah, I know. Let's see, she's in Temsik Park, eh? Why would they want to... Why would they want to clean a park? Wait, hold on. Where is it? Park. Wait, the lamp! Thank you, Jungle Raba, for the resub. Thank you very much, Jungle Raba. Just finished the game yesterday. Gonna have to watch the VODs for this. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, Ray, are you there? Okay. I guess he's gone. Don't tell me. He ceased to exist. I think the lamp is, is playing cute Wikipedia possum. Can you help his wife out and never try my playthrough? Oh, yeah. Can we go back and... and uh, yeah, let's, let's find out. Maybe we can lo lower her. Jumpy, did you know? Someone on Jads made a, um, a, a a script mod or a script change for Evolve Idol, um, where you can change the names of things like resources and stuff. And in the game, you can research an upgrade. It's somewhat early on. Uh, you can research steel beams, and it makes it so that the the cost of making houses is cheaper. And uh, the 
<laughs> the script changes it to Jumpy Did You Know. <laughs> <laughs> Those little girls having sweet dreams. <laughs> Meanwhile, it looks like uh, Mama is still in the middle of a nightmare. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, squeeze me tight enough to take my breath away. My darling lady, let us be free. Spread our wings and fly. I think I'll edit those lines out once I'm back down on the ground. Being squeezed tight is enough to take one's breath away. It is not as much fun as I thought. I guess the novelist is getting less in reality. Real. Oh no, we can't help her! Oh, she's having a bad night. Link calls and I oblige. I take off toward Temzik Park, the place where clearly something big is taking place. Do do the manipulator, the person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jout's crime, the execution orders, and even my own death. Do, 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 do. Could it be? Could Lin have been manipulated into shooting me? No, she just wanted to. Do, 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 do. Oh man, I, again, I'm, I have to apologize. I'm sorry. 1.28 p.m. What? Where? Was it a.m. before? What? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm yawning so much this week. I'm sorry. Uh, Temsic Park, the site of Little Lady Camilla's abduction tonight. Um, and the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead, but what did she find? Did you notice Steam achievements make a chime? No, I didn't, no. Uh, do I have that turned off or am I not noticing it? Oh, that looked out of reach. Huh? What's he doing here? La la la. Let me spend the moment's time with you. Oh. The world will not end if the food delivery is a little late. La 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 la. Yeah, this tracks. A little late. It's already ice cold. No. If we get him to go over the bars, he becomes inside out, right? This is cool. They had a lot of fun with us, huh? Is that a motherfucking inside out boy reference? It is, bro. You know it, bro. Rugby ball. There you are, Sissel. If you're a dejected expression, I gather, you didn't find what you were looking for, and I still... Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead, something horrible. Horrible? What is it? There, in the grass. You better see for yourself. Oh, oh. It looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. And I suppose now that... Now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope, I suppose not. Well, what's this with the umbrella and, and the rugby ball? Woo!
Alright, who's this? Oh, f stop the park from being turned into a housing site, man. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. You know leaflets are made out of trees, right? I urge you to per peruse it thoroughly. Uh, examine it in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name, my name. What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Okay. You know what? Let's leave this one dead. Come on. Come now. The study and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching. But we are but we are young. 1 p.m. by the way. Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. But I am interested in your way of death, so let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Can you please do Danny or Lotta Heart voice for this character? I don't remember Danny voice. What's Danny's Danny voice? And so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay, and what does that have to do with this Rock of the Gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. Excuse, excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Danny was a weed voice, was it? I'm coming. Just hold on. I lo I've located a target beauty. Tar I've located the target beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Oh, this guy's been dead for a while. Yes, my dear. I'll ever, I'll ever so gently nap her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? This is a Zelda character right here. All right, so this they want dude voice for this. Okay, so, oh, dude. Oh, gods, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. That was the ghost trick! That's why she had a core. So she died, and then a ghost moved it. Okay, how is the ghost that powerful? What in the world? What just happened? Oh, that's Mino! Mino? Oh, Mino the mascot! The symbol of Temsic Park, dude! Oh, forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes, dude. The power of the rock of the gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yeah, it was awesome. Yes, precisely. That is called the mistress of the god mischief of the gods. Was it the mischief of the gods or was it a ghost trick? <laughs> Ding! But nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. Ding! No ghost trick. Ding! Could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. Unless. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? That was a hat trick right there. Okay, we're, we're, we're crossing the streams here with the shit. Look at that. There's another flame besides mine. Oh, so that is the flame of a god, is it? But hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so I feel like this is a really big story revelation, but we're stuck here with whatever the hell he is for it. Uh, pardon me, but 
Are you, are you a god? Oh, we're turning into Nagito a little bit. I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flames doing. Who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Hmm, maybe I'd better try talking to this person. Let's do it. What the? This person with much greater powers than me. It's me. It's, it's, it's you? Hey, sis. Oh my, it's, it's Missile. I'm magic now. I'm Magic Missile. You look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did. I did it. I tried really hard and I did it. I saved Miss Camilla. Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Oh, dude. Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked. I died again after Miss Camilla went out and you left. I... 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 Ooh. I worked like crazy to make my own path, and I did it. And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world. Er, er. And then, here at this park, I found her at last. Yes, you guessed it. I barked, you bet I did. And I went running after her too. Missile, no! Not again! And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla, crushed under that big, scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! Alright, so are we gonna go back and prevent the dog from dying again? I had to rescue Miss Camilla, it was up to me. I cried out from, from the depths of my heart, and then... A desk lamp showed up and taught me how to do everything. I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anybody else could. And I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So, you went back, right? Back to four minutes before the, the, the little lady's death. You bet I did! Alright, when do we play as Missile? <laughs> yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nap her and come right back to your side. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretch out my paw toward the core. Oh, I, how, how I felt it at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel, go ahead and try it yourself. Oh, we, we, we play as, as, as Missile right now. Why is Missile stronger than us? What, what the hell? What is, what is this symbolism that Missile's is longer? What the? I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that, yeah. And, and so you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside? All right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. You can't? Then how did you? I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core too. A, a single leaf hanging from the tree. And I just switched their places. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. Oh, this is your ghost trick! As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. What? Swap things with the same shape? Go ahead and try it. Press swap. That's incredible. That's rad! So that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. 
meager because you see I saw one more I happen to notice one more core there was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree hey you're right if Mino could be swapped again with that then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head all right but what is that thing? It's too big. Okay, what? What the fuck is going on here? How how are we talking to the dog in in the somnium that's already been resolved and we spoke to her hours later? What? 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 How? What? What? Uh, what? What's gonna happen? What? What is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than than Mino. So why didn't you swap the missile? I couldn't. I can't stretch out my paw a little further than you can. I could, oh, sorry, I can stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Sissel. But not that far. What if, what if I went over there and grabbed you? And we could do a, a, a hand, a Sissel and missile shake. But this was just too far for me. I couldn't reach. Oh, he got stoned. Dude. Oh, I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death, if I do say so myself. I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, together, you and me. Sissel, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course. Oh, naturally. So we're going to drop that Mino thing in a different spot. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. Oh, man. All right, let's get. Oh, that's what the rugby ball is all about. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with with the leaf, and then you have to swap Mino with something else, something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the rugby ball where it is now, missile can't reach it, so that means I have to move it closer somehow. It looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, missile. Okay, I'm ready. Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just press RT. RT gaming that way you'll be able to control me and then if you press RT Control will come back to me Okay, let's try it together. We can stop Mino from hurting anybody All right missile your powers are the key this time. Okay, I'm ready I can swap anything that has the same shape just call on me if you want if you find anything you want to try Probably the best thing to do is just try a bunch of things and see how it goes. And if I see if I see something that we can swap, I should use RT. Or we can just stop that guy from coming over here. What are we doing? Why are we over why are we Joe in this? Wait, what if I go him? Do I do I have longer reach now? Oh Look at this funny flattened ball. same shape as that horrible Mino, but it's too far to swap from here. Even even this ball is starting to look horrible to me. I'm Nagito. Uh, hmm, we have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Knock it down from the tree, I say. There must be something we can do. Alright, so... Hmm. But if I move these now, I, I won't have been able to get here in the timeline. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, oh. Wait, hold on. What? Oh, the ghosts don't move together! Uh-oh. Phew. Here you come already. I swore to myself not to make, repeat my mistakes. Mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. And now the recklessness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. Hmm, I've been thinking, if we could stop this man from running, maybe he wouldn't get squeezed. Yeah, there we all miss, miss me a missile, man. It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has taken over. Hmm, stop him, eh? Is is there is there multiple? I've forgotten what button what button it is. It's it's LB. Is there like multiple solutions to this one? Okay. What if the shape is much bigger? Can we can we move? Can we? Okay, I want to I want to swap this. Swap. I need to be able to reach it. All right, swap, swap. Hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. So up and to the baseball. Swap. And then we swap this one.
with this one. Oh, no. What? They're the same shape. Oh, come on. Uh oh. What's going on over there? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Here comes that man fast enough to scare even a quick little doggy like me. Uh oh, the rugby ball is still in the tree. Ah, uh, behold, the recklessness of youth. Yeah, it's that recklessness of yours that's causing us so much trouble. This was four minutes? No one can stop the recklessness of youth. Well, if you can't stop it, then I guess we're gonna have to find a way to make it work for us. But if he comes running too fast, we won't have to do time to get ready. Hmm. It looks like figuring out what to do with his recklessness is the key. If we do it, we'll be free. Oh, I thought we were swapping here so we can move him. Okay, so... Oh, man! God damn it. How did we even... Oh, we can open the... We can open it! Alright, now what? No! God! Move the seesaw! It's too heavy! It's so heavy I can't move it very much. Maybe because of the swap I made? I guess the little ball is all the way I can handle. Oh, sh- What does that mean? What do you think of my lightning fast pace? I wish you would knock it off. That's what- that's what I think. We don't have time to prepare. I think we're gonna have to find a way to stop him from running. As far as I can see, the only way to do that is to use the playground equipment. The what? You know, the seesaw, the swing, those things, precisely. Except there is one more piece of equipment to be exact. Hmm, stopping with the equipment, huh? Maybe I should rethink things here. Alright, where are we? Alright, let's 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 swap it. Okay, do I have to like weigh the seesaw down? The tire was the tire on it first? Maybe we put the tire on it. Alright, we definitely can't move anything up here, right? Where where are we? Yeah, I think we I think we need to we need to restart. All right, let's restart. I think we need to move him first. So let's go here, and we're gonna move. We're gonna move Sissel. All right, we want to move him back again. Hmm. Maybe this is fine. Sugar. All right, let's let's move the. Oh no, the tire! It's moving. What if I swap something now? Will I move with the swapped thing? No, they count for that by making you talk if you try to interact with it. With it. Okay. Trixie Hobbits. All right. Oh, the swing. Can can we move? Can we do anything with the swing? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe he's gonna move it when he gets on. Hold on. And then we can make it. Aha! Yes! Alright, now what? Now what? Well, shit. Oh, maybe he's gonna... Maybe we, we use it to... If it's the baseball, we get flung up. Oh, the papers! Okay, good, 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 good. Alright. Papers are, 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 are working. 
All right, now what? Do we want to move the dog out of the balloon? Okay, we're moving the dog. No, that did nothing. All right, so no matter what, it's the same thing. Voters and champ. <laughs> All right, so we got to the ball. Look at this funny flattened ball. It's the same shape as that horrible Nino, but it's too far to swap from here. And this ball's starting to look horrible to me. Okay, so that's that. That was so close. If it hit the ball, it could have knocked knocked it down. Is that all this umbrella can be used for? For knocking the, the rugby ball down? Don't forget about my powers. And don't forget about my recklessness of youth. Oh, that's locked in. That's kind of weird. Sizzle, help. There's nothing you reach to swap Mino with. We're too late. Darn, I guess we have to start over again. Unless. Unless. Someone said I can switch without going out ghost mode. No, I can't. Oh, no. Maybe I couldn't for that one. If I can, I'd like to take advantage of that guy's strange way of traversing the park. But he runs through so quickly. I'm very quick indeed. Do you think you can stop me? We have to think of a way to stop him from running. Alright, so how do we stop him from running? I guess I better rewind. Okay, how do we stop him from running? Okay, so... Oh yeah, you're right. I don't have to leave um, uh, ghost mode in order to switch. Okay, what do... I have to stop him from running. I can't even I can't even get over there. How would you even stop him from running? We put the tire in here and it didn't really slow him down. So it's not like weighing down um weighing down this. If I sw swap these, will the baseball just fall out? No. Basketball. Whale drum. Is there anything else that has this shares this, a shape that isn't just circles? If if the umbrella is closed, does it look like anything? like a bridging thing to get over here. Lever? Can I pull the lever? I don't think so. Okay, the hint it's giving me is actually confusing me more. Like it, sa it says to make him stop running, but I can't even get over there. Is there something over to the right if I get on here when he let's 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 see. No, there's nothing here. Okay, you can't stop him from running. There's no way. So what do you do then? Tire doesn't work. 
Um, can Sissel not... Can Sissel not use it if it's, um... Oh, he can, he can use it with the... Oh, he can't use it with the basketball. He, he sucks that bad. So Sissel can't even get up here until he's already um, spinning on this thing. So it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything to do with, with up there. And so far there hasn't been much to do with when it comes to uh, to timing. Uh, so I don't think like... Oh, let's, let's swap the tire and the um, and the basketball as soon as he jumps on. I don't, I don't think that's going to do anything. Um, and the tire didn't do anything last time, right? It didn't. It didn't make him move anywhere else. Did, we haven't tried with the basketball on there, though, have we? The, the, the sorry, the baseball. Maybe the baseball will make it launch really far away. Maybe the baseball will land in in the umbrella, but that's not stopping him from from moving. Uh. I'm not sure. What if we hold it? No, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't hold it. Okay, that's it for sure. Okay. Well, what's that gonna do? So I just need to be faster? Is it, oh, honestly, is, is there... Can you even do that in time? Missile swap his balls. <laughs> okay, it's gotta, it's gotta be that and you just have to be faster. Okay. Let's try it. that I'm sure a lot of round things around here oh boy that means it's time for me right oh but my hair is also around let's see if use missiles power just tap rt see what happens okay i wonder if maybe um putting the tire in there did did make it um did slow him down i just didn't even realize it because i hadn't seen it yet Can't get in there yet. Let's try it. Let's, let's swap. Oh, it's kind of awkward. that's that so Sissel so let's uh put him I don't know like we can always swap him back so he, he can live here still can't reach that but that's okay we're gonna wait for him to jump on jump on all right he's on there it doesn't look like it's any slower So then we go here. 
No! Okay, so you can't. You don't have time. So we do have to slow him down. How the fuck do we slow him down? Can I, can I swap some papers or something? Because these papers are the same... Um, same size? No. How do I slow him down? What? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 I get it, 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 I know, 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 I know. Okay, so we got, I, I think I know what to do, there's just something I'm missing that we have to do before then. How do I, how do I make him take slower to do his cycle here? Do I need to, I need to move something there. Is there something I can... Is there something I can interact with as as a uh, as Sissel that I'm not appreciating? Love letter that drops down. We can't do that. I can't. I can't. Pre I'm. I actually. I'm stuck up here now. Shit. All right. Let's go through it and see if there's anything about a Sissel that I can't. I can't. I can interact with. All right, we're 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 Sissel right now. All right, we're Sissel. We can open that. We can't get back over there. Okay, tire move. Move it again? No. Would you look at that? Show a lot of round things around here. Okay, what if I like weigh it down now? No, this one, this one. Okay, there you go. All right, we got that. Oh, I moved! Oh no! I don't get it, chat. I'm sorry. Why is it letting me use the swing? Oh, what if I put Sissel on the swing? I can't get Sissel on the swing. Fuck. I can't get Sissel on the swing. How can I get Sissel to the swing? I 100% can't switch when Sissel's in something, right? Scared dog, you like me? Oh, the rugby ball's still there in tree. I've been called the records of youth. Yeah, so I'm to see so much trouble. Okay. His recklessness is the key. Is it swapping something when he's he's in the he's on the the cage thing?
There was definitely nothing over here, right? Oh man, we're we're really far away. Yeah, there's nothing over here. We can't we can't we can't change anything. No leaflet, nothing. All right. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not going well. It's not going well, chat. It's not going well. All right, it's going better. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't get it. Does something show up over here if you if you're on the swing for long enough at the very end? <laughs> really, he's struggling. That's wonderful. <laughs> All right. Okay, can't, can't use that. Can't trick that. Can trick this. Can then close it again. Open, close, open, close. All right. Tire can go over here. Can only move the seesaw when it has, has the ball on it. If it doesn't have the ball, you can't move it. If the tire is on the seesaw, it just flies over when he jumps on it. Anything else doesn't do shit. this can't use the baseball okay move the seesaw it goes the other way all right that doesn't really help Can't use the basketball. Oh, we can spin this. <sighs> wow, I didn't see this coming. I don't I don't know the first thing about the globe climber, huh? Even little children treat it with the respect it deserves. They know that unless you spin it gently, there's no stopping it. Yeah, it does look pretty dangerous. It looks like I'm just destined to fly through the air like this for a while. Hmm, this just might buy me some time. Maybe I'll just keep spinning around like that for a whole four minutes. I'm sorry, but I don't think I, I would stand it for that long. But anyway, at least we stopped him from running around for a while. Let's do what we can. We have this chance. All right, all right, fucking hell. It's loaded with the right ball, right? Yeah, baseball. And we want we want it to be the baseball, right?
what 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 do I do after I I switch it to baseball? Switch it with the tire, and then it'll it'll bring the tree down. Like, what do I do? All right, just jump. Let's go. Let's go. Do it. Why was it different? Why was it different? Did it did it hit the umbrella last time in the arc? Why was it different? All right, so it's basketball we need. Sizzle, you see that? You see the seesaw? Yes, it did. It was level flying, didn't it? Such a pity. Too bad I didn't hit the rugby ball and knock it down. Oh, maybe it's a little too light to do that. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe we should try setting up something a little heavier. Maybe you should try sucking my. Okay, let's. Okay, we can't we can't get into there if it's a baseball in there, right? So we have to we have to wait, and then we switch it afterwards. I'm guessing. Spin to win. All right, basketball. It's gotta be basketball, right? There's no way a tire makes all the way there. It's gotta be the basketball. This time for sure. It's not, it's, not he it's not heavy enough. Quick, 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 switch it with the tire. Switch it with the tire. Wow, so I so did not see that coming. I never thought the umbrella would catch the ball. Did you see that? The tree branch shook a little. I think I saw it shake too. If only it shook a little more, it would knock that terrible rugby ball down from this terrible tree. Maybe it just needs a little bit more weight. I'm sure we can do this. We just have to put our heads together. Together. Ah, everything looks good so far. We just need one more step. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Lily, I'm doing it. Lily. But Joe, you didn't close the dumpster and the ball went in and now you can't use it. All right, well, there, we moved the ball. What do you think, Missile? Hey, with the ball there, I think I can do it. Just a few seconds, you'll swap Mino with the leaf and then from there, you can swap Mino one more time and the final one was here. Missile, you ready? You bet. What if I don't? What if I don't? What if I don't? I mean, we're still pretty close to him. Okay, watch me, Sissel. Here I go. The finishing touches. You can do it, Missile. Swap Mina with that ball. There, how's that? My head has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. Plus two. And now Mino is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Didn't we? Where is she? No, now nobody has to die, except for one brave little somebody. Huh? We're talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? 
When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla. And to do that, I need these powers to have I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Is it? Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course. You're right. Okay, Miss, I'll have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly. You have my word. My word is my bond. Let's go back then to the present. He's gonna take you back to the future. And so Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. Thank you, Sunblind Squirrel, for resubbing to the Sunblind Streamer. Thank you very much. And thank you, Bauer Bronzy, also for the resub. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright, after all. After all, she has me. And oh yeah, I'm talking to a dog. A ghost dog. Missile, are you in there? I guess I do that now. Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camille to me. I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her. Missile, how is that umbrella still holding that tire? Miss Lynn. No. Missile, no! Missile, no! Wait, why are you in the leaf? I'm going to leave it up to Missile. It kind of looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. Oh. I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. My apologies, this is for you. Oh. All right, Mary Poppins. You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. Not at all. I was only doing what the rock, what the rock of the gods. What? Did I read that right? Would have wanted. Oh, there we go. Aw, oh, dude. Dot, 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 What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's me mesmerized by my beauty. You are pretty cute. I have to give you props, yeah. Dot, 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 dot. Hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue. Excuse me, but are you... No, it couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you... Aren't you the little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was 10 years ago in this park. I grabbed you and then I got shot. I'm a ghost too. That's my trick. Are you talking about... Tricking time. Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, 10 years ago from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? It could just be a coincidence. Nah, wrong game. But apparently you know our lady detective here. Can you tell us about it? What happened 10 years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually just about to do that. Rock of the gods. What's this rock of the gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know it's right there in front of us? What? It's gone! Missile. Wait a minute, you you say gods, but do you mean dogs? Oh, of course not, don't be silly, this is no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? There's a crash UFO under here. Rock of the Gods, Temsic Park. The Rock of the Gods? Uh... The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there for these 10 years. And then an alien ghost came ever since that day. It flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? I feel the cliff approaching. So this rock you've been talking about is a meteorite? 
Precisely. It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. You were here, after all. Mimi. Yeah, you were here. You witnessed it. What? That day just happened to be in this passing through this park. I had no idea that they would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom. I heard the scream of a little girl. Eek. Now just calm down. Drop that weapon. So stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Uh-oh. Oh, that's us for sure. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick, it was painful, just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish-white, and, and the meteorite hit the criminal. When it crashed into the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. And gave them ghost tricks. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Ten years ago, the little girl that was you was saved by the rock of the gods. Oh my, I can't believe it. No one ever told me. The rock of the gods was given the name Temsik. And still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Well, this was a good game. We had a good run. You know what? Lasted longer than most of them do. It's pretty good. I never knew about this Temsik. I always thought Detective Jiao was the one who saved me. You were very young then. And you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Lin. Especially since you were there that day. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. It's almost like there was a ghost manipulating me the whole time. The meteorite was named Temsik after the name of this park that it fell in. Okay, that explains that. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning the park into a housing site. Is that all this is about? They're talking early about unlimited power, and the unlimited power was to demolish a park and, and make a building? My god, the power. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park, and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. That is my mission. I see. No one filled the crater? Filled the crater. What are you doing? Oh, it's a monument there. Okay, never mind. Sorry, that makes sense. I'm taking you with me, missile. So, so ten years ago, the little girl that was Lin wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that, but Detective Jiao, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Temsik thing. And if he knew, and the man died, I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? Yeah, that's true. He did say that, didn't he? Maybe when the meteorite was falling down. Jiao looked up at it, and then all of a sudden a blue circle appeared, and, and with a square in the middle, and went Rrrr, and it stayed there for about 10 whole seconds, and at the end of it he was like, eh, I guess I'll press square, and then right at the end of it he pressed square, and then it just automatically made him raise his gun and shoot the meteorite in the air, and then that made the meteorite splinter, and then it went through, through him from the back. Maybe that's what happened. The rocks of the gods that fell from the sky 10 years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives, like the ripples on a pond when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. Hey Jowd, what the fuck? Do, 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 do. We found the music box, Detective Jowd. Good job, Lin. I knew you would. Once everything had been resolved, I had wanted to give this, wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me, Detective Jowd. Oh, it wasn't for us. Okay, now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack of doing it, you know. Gun's gonna be missing. It's gonna, it's gone. It's missing. It's gone for sure. See? He calls that a knack. Looks more like brute strength to me. Whoa, oh, Mary Poppins tech do you all have? 
here you are. Aha! Bang! Not again! You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind of... It's the kind magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? Because she's fucking baller. I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. Haha. -ha. In the case report, there was mention of some scorch marks. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay. All right. We're back here. All right. When it happened, Camilla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. You know, I'm, so I'm starting to think that maybe my Weekend at Sissel idea is actually what it is. For 10 years, they've just been, they've just been carting that corpse around that just, you know, reanimates for like a couple minutes or something through the power of ghost tricks. And he loses his memory. And then a desk lamp shows up and goes, wow, horrible fate you've met, haven't you? You know, you could do some ghost tricks though. And we've just been doing this for 10 years. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind the, uh, on, behind it on the frame too. Is that our secret twin? And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words... It proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly, some cowardly culprit modified the design. Alright, Captain Turnit. But that angle was never brought up in court, and so, as Justice Minister, I must call off the execution at this point. You have the power to do that? I knew I was right. I knew it. I knew that it wasn't you that killed your wife, and it was actually that your daughter set up some elaborate birthday contraption surprise, but then another ghost came in and did it. I knew it wasn't- Oh, shit! Something about- I, I, I knew it wasn't him. Okay, thank goodness. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Clive. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Gav. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Alright. What does the lamp have to say about this? You know, maybe we should talk to everyone first. Hmm, what's the matter? I just don't know. What should I have done five years ago? Back then, nobody had any way of knowing the true nature of the manipulator. It wasn't anybody's fault that we didn't know the truth. Do you really think so? Of course, besides what's important now, right now is deciding what to do next, am I right? I like that we're included. They could be talking on their own, but no, we're all talking in the ghost realm, so we, so we, we can be a part of it. She's right, Mr. Minister. Yes, of course, I do believe she is. Hmm. What is it now? I just don't know. What should I do next? You'll figure it out. We believe in you. Sissel! If you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. This is what I told myself these past five years. Things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. And the only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions in order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Sissel told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like this manipul looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister too. Arg! Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. <laughs> Oog! Sissel, do you think? Do you think that's what happened to me too? Hmm. What are you talking about, Lynn? Don't tell me. You were you were manipulated too. There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But, who is it? And why did, why did they do it? It's the cat. That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. What? What? Right, I knew it. See, Detective Jowd? No, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jowd about it. That's weird. 
Told him about seeing the exact same contraptions tonight in a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town. I've never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about the contraption. You haven't? Hmm, that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Hmm. Hmm. Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. Temsik. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago, you were there. So you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorite saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. I was powerless. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite. There was no meteorite. <gasps> I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. I should have been an astrophysicist and stopped the meteorite. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. Okay, fuck off. That's not true. You were trying to save me. Lin, I'm sorry. He just, he just wants to be a martyr so bad. Uh, Lin, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? He wants to have killed someone and go down for it. The truth about 10 years ago. On that day 10 years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place. Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. You know, right next to the, the, the police quarters rocket launch facility. I could have stopped it, but I didn't. And it turns out that rocket went up and, and diverted a meteorite that came down. So really, I'm the one who killed it. The worst sort of incident. A suspect who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. Yeah, they just walked out of the room after we did a Somnium on them. I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him bad. And that warning shot went up into space, and, and that warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was young and a green detect- Literally green, you're wearing green. Brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lin. It was all my fault. Detective Jowd. All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lin. What? Uh, that's it? So, uh, what? Finished cooking? So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last 10 years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years, a few years after that, I forgot it. When my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was fate. My punishment for what I don't- What- What did you do? Did you- You fired a warning shot that the guy was escaping and that made him grab a hostage and then he stood there and was in the path of the meteorite? So now you blame yourself? What- What did you do? I painted pictures in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces, all the faces of the many people I've met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. Lee. The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Wait, wait, wait just one minute! That can't be, I saw that painting! I saw the face you painted tonight! It was my face! Are you telling me I was the man in the park that time? That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole. Of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. But hold on, Detective Jowd. Weekend at Sissel's! That can't be true! I just met Sissel for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name uh, that I know the, the man in the park that they buy isn't Sissel. It's... It's... Lissus. What? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering. Who in the world is this guy? N Wait, hold on. N not that he's a ghost. Alright, I... I. Alright, who is it? Tell me. Tell me. T oh, no! Mr. Minister. Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Oh, oh, oh. Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. What? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. True! 
even if it is, even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. Wow, he's just burning his whole life for this. What? Being manipulated? What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? Get me a pen. What's going on, Inspector Cabanella? The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow ever longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even further from knowing that from knowing than than when I started. Alright, uh, is there, is there more than an hour left? Almost certainly yes. Yes, yes, nodding, yes. Is there more than four hours left? Yeah, yeah, there's more than four hours left? What? Huh. With reading chat? Yeah, re reading is going to slow down quite a bit. Thank you, uh, DL7, or DL7, for the resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, let's stop here. We're over four hours, and these streams have been four hours long. Uh, I'll finish this tomorrow. We'll come back and we'll stream tomorrow. I'm, I'm not going to let this sit until for the, for, for the uh, until next week, so we'll finish it tomorrow. Remember all the Evolve talk? Hey, Evolve talk is a feature. What would you rather me, rather me talk about? How I went to the bakery with my wife and they wouldn't let me bring a can of Coke Zero in? Like, what, what, like, what, what do you want? At least we're talking about a game. Yeah, you, you all typing yes even before I finish what I was saying there. Anyway, see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Can you just watch the next scene? No, we're not watching the next scene. No, you have to you have to come by tomorrow or else we'll get roped in forever. Forever and ever and ever. Forever. Alright, see you tomorrow. I don't know when. We'll stream tomorrow at some point and we'll finish again. I won't see the end. Right now, right now I was I was like I was in pretty early for this game, and I was like pretty solid in until the last 30 minutes. <laughs> I, I'm not out. But I'm like, uh, like the, the last the last thirty minutes have done, have done damage. <laughs> so we'll we'll see. May, may, maybe they'll pull it off. I hope so. But the last thirty minutes has done has done damage. All right. Like, what time tomorrow? Probably around the same time that we started today. We'll see. I hope I hope I hope it brings me back in. This man hates fiction. Oh, well, this man hates fiction. There's, oh, the, you're dead, but you're not dead. And there's ghost trick with, with like, oh, the meteorites. And there's a monument. And just as the guy was escaping in prison, from Zhao chased him and he shot a bullet. And the, sh the bullet might have hit the meteorite or summoned the meteorites. Or, oh, no, the meteorites. And the meteorite just happened to break apart. And a chunk went through the guy's heart in the back. Like, what do you...